This is the one home that we honestly can say is demonic. For years, I've been obsessed with the Sally house, trying to figure out exactly who or what is haunting that cursed home. The demon, Sally, is the most evil entity we've ever crossed paths with. And this haunting is different. It's not physical, it's mental. And for the first time in the history of our channel, something has followed us home. And you will see proof of that in this video. So my name is Shannon Johnson here at the Sally House. This is a notorious home for our team. I'm actually shaking standing in front of the house because the last experience that I have had here was terrifying to say is an understatement. I'm sorry. Whew, sorry, I'm just shaking really bad. Hi, I'm Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium. Oh, I don't know. I've never felt this in here. Where are you? See ya. See, kind of, kind of towards that window. I was getting sick from the time I agreed to come up here. I honestly thought I was getting sick because I agreed to come up here. What do you think the thing that's here like wants? I honestly don't know. There's something different here, but. And it's different than any time I've been in here. All right, Sally. To start tonight, we're gonna do something extreme. We are going to do a blood ritual on the Ouija board here at the Sally House. Sally, or whatever entity is here at the Sally House, we are coming to you tonight to speak with you. Poisoned blood. Dude, dude. No, I just oh, saw something. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh. Okay, it's on the okay, it's we got something right better. here. It's actually on the it's bed. It's taunting us. Oh my god! I'm like about to cry. Oh my god. Turn this off. Turn this off. I want to warn you all, everybody who's watching tonight, this location that we're visiting is the Sally House. Now, of all the places that we visited in the United States, the Sally House is the one location that has haunted viewers. Now, we've had people that have watched our videos here that have been haunted themselves. They've seen shadow figures in their homes. They've had glasses, mirrors break inside of their houses. And whatever we have filmed here has followed the viewer into their own home. So I wanna warn you right now, if you're going to watch this video, you need to protect yourself because this place is evil. This is no joke. The psychic, the person who has investigated this house before told us today that the energy inside of the Sally house is worse than it's ever been in the history of the building's existence. So yeah, this is a, uh, I don't know, this is a very dark episode and we are personally afraid behind the scenes to begin filming this video. Yeah, we're here at the Sally house and please watch this video with caution. Some would call this place the most haunted house in America. Others would say this house is possessed. Either way, welcome to the Sally House. It looks like an ordinary small house. Once you step inside, it's spine chilling. There's definitely something in this home and it's something that shouldn't be taken light. I always get a headache when I'm in this house and a scratchy feeling in the back of my throat. This house is as famous as the Conjuring House in the paranormal world. And let me tell you, these stories of this place will shock you to your core. One little girl isn't playing nice. Tonight, we've saved the most notorious spot for last. For this last story, we went to a home in Atchison that scares even the ghost hunters. That's why we visited during the day. So join us tonight on our third and final visit to America's most demonically haunted house. I'm Colin Browen. You're watching The Paranormal Files. And uh, like we said before, proceed with caution. The Sally House is no joke. We love y'all, but seriously, this one is about to get dark. And welcome to The Paranormal Files. The Sally House, a location that in my humble opinion is the most evil in all of America. Now, if you've watched our previous documentaries about the Sally House, don't worry if you haven't, you don't need to to understand what's happening tonight. You will have seen a number of crazy paranormal things that we captured on camera. This entity, Sally, has made fun of dead relatives of ours. It's called us out on our personal traumas that we've never told anybody about. 
It made my own dad, Papa Spooks, Jeff, cry. He broke down crying during our last trip to the Sally House because it was making fun of his sister who passed from cancer, my aunt. So this thing is smart and you never know what to expect when you head to this location. So, like I said, this is our third time there. And as you're gonna see in this footage tonight, that location has changed and I think it's changed for the worse. The things that happened to us while we were filming this video are beyond all explanation. It was violent, it was physical, it was psychological, and it has followed us home to the point where we are almost afraid to even be in our own apartments, but we're going to touch on that at the very end of the video. So yeah, really be prepared for this video because it's unlike anything you've probably ever seen on YouTube. I'm extremely excited to share our findings with you all, but yeah, this is a this is a very scary one, so be prepared. So, Sally House. Uh, this is my first time being there. Seeing all of everybody's different videos on YouTube, seeing all the Paranormal Files videos about Sally House, I knew I was in for a treat. Uh, this place is notoriously one of the most haunted places in the U.S. Uh, so I was always, like very, very pumped to go to this place, and it didn't disappoint. In the community, the paranormal community, this place has a very big reputation. Anytime the Sally House gets brought up, it's almost this like energy that goes over everybody because everybody who's had experience at Sally House is definitely stuck with them. And knowing all of these different situations that people have been in in Sally really put me on ed edge to be there. I was scared. So before we visited the Sally House, we had to make a stop at a location that's known to be one of the most evil places in the entire United States. This is a location that is legendary in the paranormal community. It's a location that the Pope himself tried to avoid. It's a location where Ariana Grande had a demonic experience. So we felt like it was only natural to drive there before heading to the Sally House and uh, yeah, let's cut to that now. Okay guys, so before we visit the Sally House, we wanted to bring you to one of the most demonic, most cursed, most evil allegedly places here in the entire United States. Right now we are standing in the Stull Cemetery here in Stull, Kansas. Now, a lot of you guys have probably heard of this spot. This is a location where the devil is rumored to appear every single Halloween at midnight. The Pope directed his plane to be flown around Kansas in the past. This was reported by Time Magazine because he wanted to avoid flying overhead of this cemetery. Now, the legends of this place are pretty crazy, so no one knows exactly why Stull Cemetery is known to be this terrible, evil place, but, I mean, there's a lot of different stories. People have said that there is a child of Satan, like the bones of a demon buried somewhere in these grounds. Other people have claimed that one of the trees that was cut down here in the cemetery used to be a hanging tree where they executed witches. There's a lot of folklore surrounding this place, but people don't know exactly why it's known as a gateway to hell. It could be though, if you follow me over here, what this foundation is. So there used to be a church here in the cemetery and still to this day, nobody knows exactly how this happened. But in the dead of night decades ago, a mysterious fire started inside of the church and burned the church into a hollow shell. Now people think that was the work of the devil of a demon that haunts this area, but it is eerie because you can see the ruins of the old stall church right here. And yeah, they don't allow people to come ghost hunt here at night. This became a huge thing where kids would come party here on Halloween. I read a newspaper article about over 200 kids showing up one Halloween, drinking throughout the cemetery, looking for the devil. We figured that before we visit the Sally House, which is in my opinion one of the most demonic places if you want to believe in demons and call it demonic in all of America, we had to show you Stull. I mean, what do you guys think? It's strange to me just because it looks like an everyday cemetery and if you didn't know the story behind it, it wouldn't be as freaky. But I mean, if any of the folklore is true about this place, uh, it's pretty creepy. <laughs> yeah, Jeff? Well, I, I kind of think the church where it's located is like would have been really cool because look how high it is yeah. and the view it would have over here. So, I mean, it looks like it would be a really cool cemetery, but if the Pope thing is legit with Ariana Grande, that's kind of weird. Oh yeah, there, must be, there that. must be something to this. Yeah, I also forgot to mention Ariana Grande, the very, very famous singer and celebrity. She actually came here 
back in 2013, she went on a press tour and claimed that while she visited this cemetery, she encountered a demon. They smelled sulfur. There were flies in their vehicle. They took a photo and these phantom distorted faces showed up amongst the tombstones. So you never, I would have never expected that, you know? It really does seem like a normal cemetery, but I want to say, Okay, Connor just pointed out, look at these ominous claw marks all over the, the old church. I just want to say, if there's anybody here, any spiritual energy or anything darker left at the Stull Cemetery, follow us tonight and speak with us at the Sally House in Atchison. Weird, I wonder why the church burned down. Never been explained. One of those mysteries. Mary, you're here too? <laughs> it's creepy, definitely. And you know like jeff said it's beautiful what a mm, beautiful, beautiful view here, but yeah. yeah there's something kind of eerie about it yeah especially when you consider it's haunted by the devil himself Ooh. 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 yeah and the werewolf child really oh yeah interesting wow. that was just that was just jeff in the 70s <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay to the sally house we go edge tonight. I'm a little bit on edge on the feel of the Sally House. Yeah. You know? So to cue you guys in a little bit, it's early on the day right now. In the months before our visit, people have messaged me saying that they feel like the energy in this building has changed. But we're back here in Atchison, Kansas, and I don't know. I've had multiple people say they've done investigations here, and that it feels different and people don't really know what the difference is. You did get told though by one of the location owners of another place that we're staying at in town or filming a video at, that this house was blessed recently, right? Mm -hmm. Six yeah. months ago? Steve was telling us that about six months ago an ordained minister came through, tried to bless every single object in this house and he says that he doesn't think that it worked. Rumors are that this place is even darker than it was before, and uh, we're gonna see tonight whether that's true. <laughs> Jeff, how are you feeling? You yeah. look like you're uh, like, taking something in. Well, I am. I'm just kind of looking through the windows there. Just so it's it's kind of like the atmosphere today too, being overcast. Yeah, it's a little bit spookier. It's always a weird feeling coming to Sally. It's my first time. Yeah, it's your first time. Oh. Hopefully your last out. might be your last. Say goodbye. <laughs> Die tonight? Did you call your? Know. I'd call your parents. <laughs> yeah. Just, just say goodbye. At least be safe. Just be safe. <laughs> now, don't give it any ideas, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. seriously. Now, if you have, when we get back in the car. Yeah. Sally's yeah. getting bloodthirsty, man. We're gonna now interview two people for this episode. We have a member of Apex Paranormal. Now, if you remember our very first time here to the Sally House, we interviewed Elijah. He had a terrifying experience experience that he shared with us. Now we're gonna have one of his teammates come through and do an interview about um, some horrific things she's seen and felt inside of the house. And following that, we're gonna have a psychic come and do a walkthrough of the house to see, you know, how it feels today and if there's something really different inside of the home. Yeah, I'd say if there's one place in America that gives me consistent nightmares, it's the Sally House. It's always fun filming these videos, but this is a video that I, in fact, do not look forward to filming because of how this place makes you feel and what happens after. I mean, both times that we visited here, we've had nightmares, we've had things in our apartments, Jeff and Mary inside of their house. So buckle up, are you guys ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Yeah? Let's go. <laughs> F Sally. So first thing we did after getting to the Sally house, we went home, took a shower, tried to recharge a little bit before going to spiritual battle with Sally that night. And when we returned to the house, we first interviewed Shannon. Now, if you remember back in our very first Sally House documentary, which is almost at 2 million views, so thank you guys for watching that one, we interviewed Elijah from a local paranormal group called Apex Paranormal. Now, in this video, we interviewed Shannon, and she's one of his teammates on that paranormal group, but 
Just like with Elijah, if you'll remember during my interview with him, we had to coax him into actually going inside of the Sally house. He did not want to go in, but we told him, if you just come in really quick, show us the inside, you can leave as soon as you feel uncomfortable. And as you're gonna see in this interview, Shannon was feeling the exact same thing. Okay, so we're about to start our interview at Sally. This has happened to us before. It happened with Elijah. Yeah. Actually, the first time we came here. Look at this, this here's my filming rig, the Lumix GH5. Turn on my camera, fully charged battery. First time we used it today. Completely dead. We've only been in the house like maybe a cumulative five minutes. Five minutes. Okay, well I'm gonna <laughs> grab another battery. All here. right. <laughs> So my name is Shannon Johnson and I'm with Apex Paranormal here at the Sally House. This is a notorious home for our team. Uh, we've investigated here three, four times and I'm actually shaking standing in front of the house because the last experience that I have had here was terrifying to say is an understatement and just being here even three years ago for an interview was even more terrifying. The house was once owned by the Pickmans, who were the last residents here, and they moved out because their own experiences of seeing what they had thought was a little girl, um, you know, following Tony around, scratching him, uh, really invading this family's home. They could no longer sleep here. They had to move out. It's been a location for a lot of teams to investigate in since they have had moved out. And I can honestly say this is probably the one house to stay away from and to not investigate. Well, that is the ominous warning. Yeah. Well, without further ado, I think we should step inside. Okay. Because of the noise. Well, Okay. Man. So one of the stories about this home is about a little girl who had been brought here by her mother and she was here because of a burst appendix. And this was said to have been a doctor's home. So her mom brought her here and had surgery in this home and the story goes that she had passed away on the surgery table. Now, whether or not that was the case, um, there are a lot of stories about this home that have been fabricated by the mayor years ago to draw attention toward this city, um, to generate more income for tourists. We're, the room that we're in right now is the living room and Although there's not a whole lot of activity that happens in the living room, a lot does happen in surrounding rooms. And this would be a really, I'm sorry. Whew. Sorry, I'm just shaking really bad. <laughs> it's okay. <sighs> this room is really good to sit in to listen. Uh, we've done that a couple of times just coming into the home to kind of get a feel for it and you'll hear a lot go on upstairs um, There was one morning after Eddie and I had had a, an event here man I think that was probably a good five four or five years ago if not longer and while sitting here doing our little coffee wrap-up about the events over the weekend we heard a lot of noise in the kitchen and it sounded like someone had jumped off of the counter and onto the floor and it was just him and I. Um, there was nobody else in the house with us. So no matter the time of day, it is always super active. <sighs> yeah, this kitchen has always creeped me out. Um, I do have that like fun house feel right now for sure. The only experience that we've ever really had was what Eddie and I had witnessed. There was a time, when, the last time we had the whole team investigate here, we had the, we had a chair sitting up in this entryway and we had a motion detector. Our motion detectors rarely ever work, no matter where we go. They're rarely ever set off. 
So we opened up the basement door and that was around the time when we were able to investigate the basement. All of us were upstairs and we heard what sounded like somebody running and I would say probably 10, 15 seconds after motion detector goes off, we rolled back cameras and Elijah had asked, where are you? We heard, uh, we heard a voice or we caught a voice that said, I'm here. And then you hear what sounds like male footsteps running, kicking the chair because you saw it shake and then it set off the motion detector. Wow. Yeah, it, it was it was intense. Um, so we don't know if it came from the basement. We don't know if it came from the kitchen, but to hear to act to hear someone say I'm here and then run, kick the chair and set it off. That was I think that was probably the coolest series of events that we've ever had at this house. Yeah, that's intense. I yeah, would say. <laughs> it was it was pretty cool. So what do you what do you think Sally is? <sighs> So our team doesn't believe that every place is haunted by a demon, I guess you could say. I know there are a lot of places that you can go to and investigate. And one of the first things that people will go to is it's demonic because the energy is incredibly angry. You're getting scratched. You're getting your hair pulled. Um, you're getting toyed with in a very aggressive way. But a lot of those times, it is just a really pissed off spirit. This is the one home that we honestly can say is demonic. We don't think Sally is a child in any f form of the imagination. We don't think that there's any kids here whatsoever. There is definitely something much darker in this home. Where do you think that, that would have come from? Is there any like theory? I, you know, I don't know. Um, there is belief that there was once a pentagram drawn on the floor of the basement and that there were rituals conjured up in the basement and that's what could have brought on this demon or this darker energy. I have spoken with a family that used to live here, or her family I should say, her kids used to live here. and. She said that there was not a pentagram that was drawn on the floor, um, that that's something that could have happened because supposedly this pentagram was drawn on the floor when a family had lived here. So I don't know if in fact there was one. I don't know. I just, I personally think that either it, this home is on grounds that weren't anything other than holy grounds. I guess is the best way to put it. Um, and I think what really fed into it, our teams hearing or just people hearing, oh, there's a demon here. And I mean, you know, anytime somebody hears, oh, there's a demon at this house, they're quick to try and interact with this so-called demon. I think that's what probably made it stronger. And the more people that have come in here, the more people that have investigated it, it's just made it more and more intense, stronger and just able to do whatever it wants to whoever comes into this home. Do you think it's gotten stronger over the years? Yes. Why do you say, why do you say that? Um, well, I, I wasn't even anywhere near Atchison yet and I was already shaking and getting really sick. Um, a lot of times when I come here, I feel really uneasy. Today was the first time that I pulled up in front of the house and I felt like I was on a ship that just would not stop rocking. I felt like I was gonna get sick. I never, I never shake coming to this house and I am shaking so bad, which is why I keep holding my hands. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really uncomfortable. You're talking about right now, today? Right now. I'm like, I could almost cry because I'm, I'm that uncomfortable. Yeah, it definitely feels just like tingly. Yeah. It feels like, thick it does. like you're Every walking time. through like like i don't it's hard to explain it feels like it's like like pulling back curtains almost and it feels like that's just like what i'm walking through constantly yeah. in this house yeah. and this is my first time here yeah 
Yeah. Well, you want to go upstairs? Yeah, that's just like really oppressive feeling. It's hard to explain. People online, you know, make fun of you and say, oh, like, it's just a house. I'm like, you've never no. been inside of the house. No, this is, it is not just a house, that's for sure. Okay. Um, it is definitely much harder to be up here than it is downstairs. Up here is one of the first times that I ever encountered what I thought at the time was possibly a demon. We had an event here, Eddie and I, and it was my birthday weekend. And I had told, <laughs> I had told my team, I said, if we do an event here, I said, I want to do it because it's on, it's my birthday weekend. I, this would be perfect. You know, I really like investigating here. Mind you, we had only investigated here once since I had been on the team and we had crazy things happen, but not so crazy to the point where I didn't want to come back. It was our second night and I am sitting in the middle in the hallway we had one person in this bedroom and we had an um, Eddie in the master bedroom and we were doing double Estes and we were asking a bunch of questions. Some of it didn't really make sense. It didn't really tie in together. I don't know what happened, but I was, I was doing everything live and it was a sudden rush of energy. And all I remember is this woman saying, he's coming. Um, you know, Jesus is dead. I hear Eddie saying, screw this. Um, I can't do this. And I don't know if it's him talking or if it's what he's hearing. I'm hearing a lot of noise up here. And then all of a sudden I heard th the creepiest, most unsettling sound I had ever heard in my entire life. It almost sounded like, um, like a child and a cat from Pet Cemetery mixed together, doing the most mm. high pitched, growling type noise. And I lost it. I felt my heart and my stomach, and I said, We're done. We're taking a break. Just thinking about it is, it's just, maybe it's making my heart just pound out of my chest. After that, like my mom had said, Whatever. EVPs you have don't review them because she watched the video and she said it's not safe she said I don't know what you encountered there but whatever you came into contact with it's not human and it's not safe for you to listen back and do your reviews just yet so and where did that noise come from um it came over by the master bedroom hmm. Yeah, Is that where you were doing I was sitting up against the wall right here. So it wasn't through the essence that you heard that? It was through my own ears. God. Oh my God. Like it was right next to me. And yeah. Sally followed you. Yeah, she still does. She followed me for about six months after that. I, so Eddie and I, we went home the next day and I was incredibly paranoid. There were times I would go outside to walk my dogs and I would think that there was somebody standing behind me and I turn around, there's nobody there. I would think that there's somebody riding in the back seat because I get a quick glimpse of someone in my back seat from my rearview mirror. And then I, I look back, there's nobody in the back seat with me. I would see things in my house, my, uh, my husband even as well he was hearing you know people walking around in our home we were hearing cabinets opening and closing and i was having horrible nightmares just of me inside this home almost being like psychologically tortured yeah it's, that happened to us too with the nightmares and, and everything for a long time probably two or three months but you don't like even coming into the house anymore no. <laughs> it's just a it's, lot. But it's weird. And it's, uh, so this home, we, you know, I've always said that it's, it's a psychological haunting, you know? So 
yes, there's, you know, that factor that there is something demonic here, but it's, I don't know. But I mean, then, you know, demonic energy is also a psychological torture um, because they twist your mind to think whatever they want you to think. So, you know, whenever Elijah had reached out and said, hey, you know, we have this interview. Do you want to go do it at um, Sally House? And I said, yeah, sure, I'll do it. And I told my husband, I said, it's like, you know, facing your facing your fears kind of thing. So I was all for it. And then I got here, I'm like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel that. I get that. I mean, also, what's up with these dolls in this creepy little circle? I don't, you know, I don't know. That's how they've always had them set up. Are they worshiping the the god of play toy? I don't know. My on? husband said the same thing. He's like, why are they circled like they're having a seance? <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I have no idea. So um, what do you think is the most active uh, room in here, in your opinion? Uh, it would have to be, it's, I mean, the master bedroom and this room. Um, usually if we'll stand in the hallway and we'll investigate because we get activity from both rooms mm -hmm. that this room we've never the third bedroom we've never gotten activity in yeah it's it's mainly between these two rooms <laughs> any other experiences or things you'd like to share that have happened to you guys in here mm. yeah um so uh eddie is he's the one that a lot of spirits are in love with when eddie becomes a spirit he's gonna be a uh, very highly wanted bachelor <laughs> let's just put it that way he's and, gotten around yeah <laughs> anywhere we go and they're always asking for eddie always but here it was a little different so we were doing an estus um, it was another double Estes, same event night, and we had, uh, but it was two different people. It was two other girls, and Eddie was downstairs watching um, what was going on through the cameras from the TV because we had a group downstairs kind of hanging out. He decides, well, I'm going to come upstairs because they kept, whoever it was just kept asking for Eddie. I didn't even know Eddie was coming upstairs because I didn't hear him. He was being very quiet, very slick about it. It wasn't until he reached three steps before the top where a girl from the kids' room said, oh, hi, you're finally here. And Eddie and I both sat there and said, what? <laughs> like audibly, you just heard that? No, that a girl did that was doing Estes. Oh, she heard oh. it through her speaker, so yeah. she's and she's blindfolded, God. so she has no idea that he's coming upstairs. I didn't know until he got up closer because it's all dark. I can't see anything, and so Eddie just kind of sat there and he's collecting himself and he said, "Yeah, I'm here," and uh, whatever the girl heard through her earbuds, um, she had said. So you, you're finally back. I'm like, Eddie, I don't like where this is going. Mm -hmm. And just after that, everything started going downhill very, very quickly. Yeah. That's one thing I've noticed about this place. Is like, even in videos, it's like, it starts out very tame, usually. And then it mm -hmm. ramps up, like, super, super fast. Yeah. I tell, um, there was like, there was a couple of girls that were out here earlier before you guys came and they reserved this place tomorrow night. And so she was asking me some questions about it. And I said, or I asked her, I said, is this going to be your first time ever in the house? She said, yes. And I said, I'm, I said, just to forewarn you, I said, you hear a lot of these stories, just like I heard a lot of these stories. And when you first walk into this home, it's gonna feel like just a home. It, you're gonna wonder, is this really haunted? Are there just stories that kind of play it up? And it does that to you. I said, it will kind of do things little by little. Like our first full investigation here, we were setting up cameras and the light in the hallway turned on and off and we <laughs> caught it on camera. Um, it was, and then it was another little thing of something pushing the camera over and breaking it. 
I said, but it's when you leave the house and then you come back is when things will really ramp up. Hmm. That's true. Yeah. I think uh, one thing that I think is interesting is that people, we've gotten like people online that say on our video, I've been here and it's not haunted and people are blah, blah, nothing happened. But then other people say they had the exact same experience where it's like so intense. Mm -hmm. Like, do you think it like targets people? Yes. Is it, what's the criteria that you think? I think um, the more open you are, the more um, the more susceptible you are to experience it. People, I mean, there are skeptics, and there are places. Even if you're not a, a skeptic, I mean, being just a an everyday you know paranormal investigator, we've you know visited places that are well known to be haunted. And when we went to investigate, nothing happened. Well, I mean, that's because the house just didn't feel like communicating and that happens. I think it could be the same for this house. It doesn't want to be taunted because that's not the game that it plays. It wants to taunt you. So if you come in and you are demanding all this stuff that's gonna happen, well, that's not fun for whatever's in this house. So it's not gonna give you an experience. But if you come in and you're open and you are just taking it little by little to see what experience you get, well, it's more fun to, to that, to whatever it is, because now it can play games. Can't play games with people who demand it. I agree. So any, any final words about us tonight or anything you'd like to, to say before we're done? bathe in holy water and wrap yourself in salt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, that is a lot just, of holy water. I'd say just, you know, be careful and have common sense. It's, um, I mean, with any place that you investigate, you always want to have common sense. But with a location like this that has such a tarnished history, you really have to be smart with how you approach a situation, how you approach questions just the way you ask a question to it can seem like an invite to go home with you so you just have to be careful you got that it's your first time <laughs> right. we'll i'm not see. trying we'll see. anything like that i don't no. want no visitors on my ride home well awesome after hearing another story of a uh, experience someone had had at sally house and how uneasy she was being there, and that not even before she had pulled up to the house, she was already feeling sick from being there. It put us even more on edge of being there that night. But it wasn't until the psychic got there that we felt that we might be in danger that night. Hi, I'm Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. <laughs> We're going in the Sally house tonight. Okay, well, let's go on That's in. my intro to all my stuff. I just kind of... I love it. Ooh, Sally. So maybe I would love to kind of hear your thoughts on the energy today in here as we kind of walk around and any experiences you've had. It's super high, super high. I want to cry. I wanted to cry coming up the hill. I feel like the hair is gonna stand up on my arms right now. I never get that feeling coming in here, ever. I wasn't even anywhere near Atchison yet, and I was already shaking and getting really sick. Um, a lot of times when I come here, I feel really uneasy. Today was the first time that I pulled up in front of the house, and I felt like I was on a ship that just would not stop rocking. I felt like I was gonna get sick. I never, I never shake coming to this house and I am shaking so bad, which is why I keep holding my hands. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really uncomfortable. You're talking about right now, today? Right now. I'm like, I could almost cry because I'm, I'm that uncomfortable. Like super. And like it's amping up. And I'm not one of those that does the drama thing, you know, like you see on some of the 
ghost shows. Yeah. I, I don't do that. Like, ooh, I heard something down the hall, and then go to commercial. <laughs> <laughs> and then you never know what was down the hall. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. I never felt this in here. Yeah, that's funny that you say that, because that's what the other person was feeling. Really? Too. Yeah. I, I never felt it this strong. Now, see this picture of Sally? Mm -hmm. I don't know how many years ago it was, but before I started even doing mediumship work and all that stuff, I was sitting on that couch and I was looking towards the front door. My daughter had called me at midnight. She goes, hey, we're going to Sally house. She want to go. So there was another couple, her and I. And I sat there looking towards the door and I saw that. Only she had a longer dress on and her hair was longer. It was just like her. I don't know when this picture was drawn, but it was well after that. And she just stood there and looked at me, and I thought, I'm not telling anybody I saw this. Nobody's going to believe me. <laughs> I, I'm, I didn't say shit. <laughs> and, but she had scraggly hair, and her face was all wrinkled like an old lady, but it was a little girl. And it, like she was curious, like, I see you. Can you see me? And then she just disappeared. And, she, and I never felt her the rest of the night. I felt more like her face was scraggly because she was kind of worn out from everybody picking on her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then when I walked in here one day and saw this, I went, oh, heck. So I <laughs> <Good> saw her. <laughs> so what do, you th what do you think Sally is? I mean, you've been here a number of times. I really think there was a little girl and that really did happen to her where they did that emergency operation on her. Mm -hmm. And I heard the rumor is that they didn't even have time to give her anesthetic. Mm. So she was in a lot of pain and then she died. But then some people think it's a demon that makes itself look like Sally, which could be possible. So I don't know if there could be two or which one to believe for sure, but I know the one that I saw, I felt like was the little girl. And I will say there's another house in town where I've seen the doctor. Really? doing abortions. Oh God, interesting. So, it, it definitely feels heavier in here today than it has in the past. And, and my arms are feeling very full. They don't, I usually don't feel that. Not in here, I usually feel nothing in this room. It's like <laughs> I'm getting very flushed. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Even in here, it feels like, like the heavy, heavy energy in here. Like it's like I'm swimming. Yeah, yeah. I don't mm -hmm. know, it's just, it feels, Odd. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I don't even know how to describe it. Yeah. That definitely different. It's not happy time. energy. Let's no. say that. <laughs> no. I wonder why though. What would What would be making it? Whatever it is targeted. Like my sister. My sister was here before, with them, and started like talking about all my family members and members of my family that had died. It's just like. It was know. hitting all your buttons. Yeah. I, I do not play these things up because most of the time I get, I might get zilch, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's different t today than when you were here like last it, time? It's coming through here, that's different than any time I've been here. Really? Mm -hmm. Usually I come in here and I go sit down and this room, like I said, never does anything for me, but I'm like all... That's what... That's exactly what she said. said. She's like, I don't know if it's something with the basement. See, well, I was here with, there was mm, a group of at least 10 of us, and Dustin Perry was here. And Dustin and I were over here at the bottom of the steps, and two, three or four of my other group was on the other side of the furnace down mm. there. And we all watched this big cloud, this black cloud just start forming. It didn't have a shape, it didn't have a form, it wasn't... It wasn't your grandmother coming yeah. back or Sally. It was, my ears are getting hot, 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 hot. But it just it just started forming and it didn't mm. hurt any of us. It didn't do anything, but we didn't hang around long enough yeah. either. I wouldn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think I'd be a little freaked yeah. out if I saw it. Seeing stuff like that, it's not something I want to see. And I've seen that out. type of clown in several places, and it knows I'm curious because I want to know what it is. I want to know how to communicate with it. I want to figure it out. And it just kind of shows itself, and then it almost like it's laughing. Yeah. Like, 
here I am, what are you going to do? Yeah. Yeah. So watch for not shadow figures, but one time at another house, it like did it across the ceiling, just like like if a house was on fire and it was mm. smoke. Smoke hitting the ceiling. So kind of watch for some of that smoky stuff. Mm. My ears are hotter than hell. What do you think is the most like energy ridden area here in the house? The, the most we've had is uh, my friend and I, and she's pretty sensitive, that closet in the front bedroom. Really? Mm -hmm. well, it's always room. I've never really had anything in that either. We'll see when we go up there, the way I feel at night. Yeah, that closet. And the same night we were here with Dustin, her and I were in that closet up there. There was ladies in the group that I'd never met before, and they weren't sensitive. They weren't any medium or anything. And they were clear on the hallway, and they said, what is this? What is going on? And we were in the closet. Of course, we felt it stronger, but they felt it all the way out in the hall, and it scared them. So what of what you, like, what's the wildest thing that has happened to you guys here? I mean, other than, I guess, the black cloud. I can't say I've ever seen anything fly across the room or anything like that. Just just strange occurrences. I feel like I, it's so psychological here. Like, it doesn't really physically do stuff, but it's mental. Yes. Gets at your I mind. would think so. I don't, I don't think you'll see a lot of... Figures walking around. My top hat man's here. I haven't seen him in a long time. I have a top hat man who I picked up in another place here in town and he asked me please not to tell where he was from because he didn't want people like us mm -hmm. bothering that place. <laughs> I've seen him in this house several times. He's a nice guy. He was a real person. And I'm not sure why he's here tonight. He actually started coming to my house when I picked him up because he wanted to help me start my business. He was a businessman from here in town. I don't know his name. It's very nice of him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, he, and he used to follow me around, kind of, and I've seen him in the Sally House several times, and he's here, and I don't know why. Where do you see him? It seemed kind of, kind of towards that window. It just feels so off in here. Today. But he's, he wouldn't be the creepy part. No. Maybe he's like, Looking after you. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. He's like, you need to get out of here, Robin. <laughs> he, he was my businessman. Yeah. And he, I'm not the only one that's seen him in here before. Like, I feel like I'm wobbling. That's what the girl over there said. Too. <laughs> that's exactly what she said. Where, who was it? Who would you get her from? Uh, she's with Shannon Apex. with Apex. Oh, I know Shannon. I've met Shannon. Yeah, she yeah. said she Shannon. said she felt like she was in a boat. Yeah, that's just what I felt like. Just I thought, I'm not drunk. What the heck? I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> that's crazy. Today was the first time that I pulled up in front of the house, and I felt like I was on a ship that just would not stop rocking. I felt like I was going to get sick. <laughs> no, there's a, if this place is loaded today. Just I feel totally loaded. I have a headache, and we had our ears ringing mm -hmm. earlier, just walking around. We got the same time our ears started ringing like really bad. Yeah. You guys are gonna have fun tonight. <laughs> Several times when I would leave there, I would be going like this from the energy, and I tell them, I'm Whoa. not, I'm not drinking, I'm not drunk. Did you hear that? That was like a loud popping. I thought it was a creak. It sounded like the floorboards over there or something. Like right when we left the room. It was like right when you crossed over there. It was like Pow. I heard I heard it. It was loud. It's the first thing we've heard all day. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know if we stare at it, it won't do it. Yeah, yeah right. Never no, we know. <laughs> we know that much. It's always right when you turn the camera off or something. Yeah and that's like I tell people like when I'm doing readings or something I said, yeah so they go and rattle silverware in the kitchen. It's not gonna be when you're in the room. I oh, don't yeah. know why no. it works that way. <laughs> nope. So what do you what do you think up here? Any any read on anything? No, I'm still feeling full. I'm still feeling kind of creeped out, which I don't I don't usually feel in this house. But not not anything particular in this room. My ears are getting hot again. I think they're getting hot enough. You probably see them turn red. Yeah, yeah. you can see them. <laughs> so you've yeah. investigated this house or been here how many times? Oh. 
I don't know, quite a few. Quite a few, if, if nothing else, sometimes I'll take the $10, you know, walkthrough that they have during, usually during the month of October. I'll just pop in and out. And why did you come back? That's a good question. A <laughs> <laughs> glutton for punishment, I guess. That's <laughs> too I guess, you know, here we are. I don't know, it's in my backyard, I live here. It's, when I get a chance to come, I come. I, when I get a chance, I go to some of the other ones too, close. See, we've sat in here, we've bounced on the bed before, we've done all kinds of stuff in this room, and we've never had any activity that I can remember. I call this the nice room. It does it's, have a nice soothing energy in this room. This is probably the only place I've seen the Top Hat Man, except for today, he was downstairs. I've seen him in here several times, and he just stands there and kind of waits for me. But nothing ever in this room. I mean, I've never felt anything in this room. Not really. Scariest thing about it is this tiny ass bed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could live in a house like, especially this, you know. Well, that's the funny thing about paranormal. I mean, it like it ha it can happen in any house. Yeah. Yeah. And so, I mean, if someone came in here that didn't know the story of this house and didn't believe in the paranormal, and they just like this is just an Airbnb, people would walk in and be like, oh, this is a this is a nice house. And then you spend the night and. Yeah. Have a bunch of crazy so stuff nice happen. <laughs> I almost feel safe in this room for some reason. I, I knew of a lady, I didn't personally know her, that lived here before all the hoopla started about this house. She had said she never had any problem. Really? Nothing like that. That's so interesting. And then now it's like, I mean, just from our experiences, like this is one of the places that's really in my opinion, it's got something that's not so good. Yeah. We do stuff that's good energy all the time, but mm -hmm. it's like this place, a couple places in New York, we found that it's like oppressive. I'm really more into angels and love and light, mm -hmm. but there's also the dark. So I've been leaning more towards, I need to learn what the dark is. Mm -hmm. What makes it tick? Where's it coming from? I know where those guys come from. Yeah. I deal with them all the time, but what is this and why? And I don't know, not necessarily how do we protect ourselves from it, but how do we coincide with it? Yeah. You know, it's really weird. I just got like a wave of like just a hair on end. My arms are getting warm again. Like feel literally, like... almost like it just kind of came through here and I just, through my pants, I felt my hair. I'm like, okay, something's like right they don't over here. They don't like me talking about the angels and love and light. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Oh man, that's weird. Oh, I feel it again right now. It's, this is my safe room and now I'm feeling it. And another thing that our, my other group has done when we've been in this, the other house is we turn mm -hmm. on music and we, my buddy Andy that's in Pennsylvania, we would dance down the hall and come <laughs> back and then you'd, they'd start rattling doorknobs or hear footsteps or it's different. But those mm -hmm. are passed on loved ones. Mm -hmm. not. I don't know that that's what this is. Yeah. I definitely don't think that that's what this is. I want to see what you it feel about this room. Right. This hallway is, I feel, always really eerie to me. What do you, so what do you feel in this room? Like, because you, you said this was the most active. What do you think is here? It's, it's not this room, it's that closet. Oh, this closet, yeah. And whatever it is was strong enough for all these people that don't even know how to do this kind of stuff. They just they felt it all. I felt it. Yeah, it feels very, uh, just, like, I mean, like, I'm just, I'm sitting. Like, I have no energy mm -hmm. in here today. I was getting sick from the time I agreed to come up here, and then today I did a really good cleansing on myself. And I thought, oh, I feel good. My headache's gone, my neck aches gone. I'm getting, thought, I honestly thought I was getting sick because I agreed to come up here. I'm fine now. We'll see what happens later when we go home. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we don't want to get you sick. I'm sorry about that. Nah. It's part of my learning process. It's something I need to learn for whatever reason. I don't know. One of my guides had told me that I needed to learn this so I could help people when they get stuck with this stuff, get them out of it. Yeah. Oh, God, it feels weird in here today. It does. I, I keep hearing, come here, come here, come here. Okay, what do we got? It's this corner right here that just tear. My knees are shaking. And he started shaking as soon as I stepped foot there. This is 
that's where my friend and I sat down. Ooh, get woozy. Yeah, it's like a very pressure in here. I can feel it in my sinuses. I gotta pop my this ears. This is a creepy closet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this house definitely looks just like eerie. <laughs> I feel like it wants to slam the door, keep us in here. What do you think the thing that's here like wants? I've always wondered that. I honestly don't know. I don't. I don't know what it wants. I. I but I would like to dig in and find out what it wants. These are these are the things that I want to find out in these houses. It just. Wait, what is it? What 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 are you? Why are you hanging up there on the ceiling? And kind of laughing at us. What do you want? What are you gonna? What do you want from us? And why are you so angry too? Like, I, like, I can understand if you die, and you're a person, you're either sticking around or like, you know, there was a tragedy. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to just like a place like this, I don't. I just it blows my mind. Because it is here, and it's like you, I can feel exactly what you're saying, and yeah. what you're saying exactly what she said before <laughs> so it's like the whole day there's something different here but and it's different than any time i've been in here Same. E except for this room and downstairs most of the time i'm kind of like this is boring i don't know i think you've seen I, stuff i don't know what its purpose is sometimes i really believe that it's not this but a past loved one that was just a cranky asshole when he was alive mm -hmm. but some of this stuff no i don't know what it is but I want to know. Well, maybe we'll get some sort of an answer tonight. Yeah. You never know. Yeah, see if you can see if you can find out. I'll be watching. That's going to be interesting. Maybe you can answer it for me. Would you want to do a little vote uh, EVP session with us? I don't care. Okay, I'll Nobody go grab it. Okay, I just want to ask, is there somebody here with us today? Scaring people in this house? I just heard that's because it's because that's what you want me to do. Actually, it's what we ask for mm -hmm. when we come in here. Mm -hmm. Why does the energy feel different today to all of us? Are you a little aggravated because I always bring in angels and guides and protection? I'm kind of the lighter side. You giving me a headache right now? I feel like I have a lot of pressure in my head. I feel like my head is getting a little thicker, but it's not that strong. That's like behind my eyes, just like, it feels like they're going to pop out. Is Sally here with us? <laughs> this damn air conditioner is always getting every time. <laughs> every time. Oh, that Febreze thing in Hensdale. Oh, yeah. You're all pausing this. Okay, I'm going to play this, and then, all right, let's just listen. Hey, I just want to ask, is there somebody here with us today? Is there a reason why you like scaring people in the south? Why does the energy feel different today to all of us? Are you a little aggravated because I always Sounds like the man from the man can do. You guys, the protection. I'm kind of the lighter side. You give me a headache right now. I feel like I have a lot of pressure in my head. I feel like I'm getting a little thicker, but it's not that strong. Behind my eyes, I'm going to pop out. Is Sally here with us? <laughs> 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 Every time, every time. Uh, well, that's a pretty thing. Oh, 
I just oh, think it's a We don't really get it. I thought yeah, I heard when it said healthy. Sally here, it said no. I don't know. I feel like they're holding her back because she's a sweet little girl. Yeah. They, I don't know who they are. I want to know who they are. You better find out who they are. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're, we're trying. We are really trying. It's all my mystery. <laughs> wow, that was like, there was a couple like angry sounding something. It's not near as modulated as from the other place, you no. know, like, yeah, he's, you know, he's really loud, or else maybe it just needs to be turned up, but it kind of, same type of voice. Mm -hmm. Just like, just It's like animal noises, like really animalistic sounding. Maybe you can get it later to talk to you. Oh, we'll oh we're going to ask more. <laughs> that same one to come back. Oh, we're going to try. Any advice for us tonight? Well, before we investigate, what would you say? Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody seems to tell us that. Every time here, it seems like it starts off where there's nothing here and you're just sitting in an empty house, and then an hour and a half, two hours in, it just starts to build and build. Then by the end, you're like, damn, I'm really glad we have a hotel tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so after looking back at that footage, it's actually pretty mind-blowing. Rhonda and Shannon were talking about the exact same things that they were feeling inside of the Sally house. Now, keep in mind that when Rhonda arrived, we hadn't told her anything that Shannon had told us during her interview. And then for Rhonda to say, this place feels different. I've never felt this kind of evil, scary energy in here. I feel like there's a boat, like I'm rocking on a boat in the ocean. Those are like very, very specific things to say about the Sally house, especially considering the fact that we've been there three times now, and it's only been on this third time when two different people have told us this place changed. Now, I don't know if that's related to what we're about to talk about in a second, the fact that a, a pastor recently came and tried to bless the entire house. I think that pissed this thing off. But yeah, we knew we were in for something dark that evening, a very, very spooky journey, but we didn't realize how dark it would get immediately. So yeah, if you're afraid of this stuff, I would definitely turn this video off now before we really get into it. Okay guys, so we are here at the Sally house now. In the past, <laughs> this is our third time here in three years. So our first visit was in 2021, our second 2022, weird, our third is in 2023. So we've been here a number of times and we felt, you know, an evil sort of presence inside of the house. Something has obviously attacked Jeff. Um, it's hurt us deeply, it's followed us, but today is different. Um, I have to admit that being in there, just even just getting B-roll and filming our interviews, something was, uh, something was very off. It just doesn't feel like the same Sally house. Now, I don't know as an investigator if that means that the people that have been coming to this place have been bringing negative energy and encouraging this uh, terrible energy to keep growing or what, but both our interviewer and the psychic, they both said that whatever's here today, as in tonight, is darker and more intense than they've ever felt. Like there's something bad brewing inside of the house. Um, and obviously, you know, we like to hear that there's something here, but we're coming into this. We protected ourselves already. Uh, cast yourself with a good bubble of white light but that doesn't do that much here this house is so evil whatever's here is so powerful that it doesn't fucking help you know that's the thing yeah i don't know i feel uncomfortable already just standing outside connor jeff well uh i will say just talking to the psychic and uh, other people that have had experiences here today. This is my first time being here at the Sally House. And I will say, this place has a very scary vibe. I mean, uh, you've seen the videos at Hinsdale House. It's got a very similar vibe to that of just being like dark and very heavy in presence. Like you're almost like swimming through it. And I think with houses like this, you kind of have to come in with uh, Kind of protection on yourself to be aware that things are going to happen tonight that are going to freak you out and you kind of have to stay strong and know that like it's all gonna be okay yeah. but I will say at the end of the day I'm scared 
I really am. I know what this place has done uh, to many people. I know what it's done to just the paranormal files. And yeah. we're about to see what it's gonna do tonight. And I think it's gonna be the biggest one. Papa Spooks, what do you think, man? Last yeah. time we were here, you were sobbing, crying. Remember that? It was. It, it made it, me want to strangle you. It kind of really made fun of my sister and and me, my sister that, that's passed. Uh, yeah, I got emotional for sure. Every time I come in here, it's definitely, like Connor said, it's like this thick, it's like thick air to me. When you walk in, it's just heavy. No different tonight than it was before. Maybe it's worse. I gotta get in there and feel it a little bit more. Yeah, I, I, this is probably the, I think the creepiest place probably that I've ever gone to and, and have come back to because uh, I don't hate to call it an evil presence, but that's that's what it is. It's, it's just plain and simple. I think so. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna kinda ask um, the higher spirits that are out there, no matter what your denomination is, to protect us, guide us to the right areas of the home that we can understand it better, and in the end, just not let anything come out of this house and attach to us. And I'm calling on all higher powers to, to give us light and protection tonight. Yeah, let's go, man. As ready as I can be. I don't think I am. Okay, well, you gotta be. <laughs> We're here. Oh, you're right, I guess. You know, it's very it's creepy if you sit here quiet. That house right there is playing some just fucking creepy music. Okay, guys. Is it just that one? Okay, you ready to go? Let's do it. Okay, guys. One, two, three. Sally! Let's go! <laughs> so, after we had talked to the psychic, we had both been feeling this, like, weird kind of haziness to us that we couldn't really explain, but we knew that it was something from Sally House that had already started affecting us. But it wasn't until this experiment that we were going to do where it really ramped up the energy that night. Okay guys, so to start tonight, we're gonna do something extreme. We are going to do a blood ritual on the Ouija board here at the Sally House. Now, this is gonna be included in both our Sally House episode and the Ouija board documentary because this is a very important time that we're using the board. Uh, with paranormal theory, Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a REM pod. <laughs> um, when you use the Ouija board and you offer up in any of these rituals your own blood, you're basically giving energy or life force to the entity to be able to use and uh, use that to come forward. So that's why we're going to be giving Sally or whatever this thing is, our blood as a bit of energy or life. There you go. <laughs> to come out and speak with us. But yeah, so we did a Ouija board the first time here and it was very freaky. And I think this time is gonna be even freakier, obviously, but. All right, Sally. We are coming here tonight to speak with you or whatever you are, even if you're not Sally, if you're something evil. I'm going to give you my blood. I'm going to give you my blood as an offering. Come through with us tonight. Here I go. Yeah, that was. Oh, okay. See. Here we go. Okay, Last time I did this with a staple. <laughs> it's getting a lot easier. Oh boy. 
right when we finish the ritual. Oh, I, I definitely, I'm definitely feeling something here. Again. I think I was sitting here, Colin. Yeah, you were. The last I time. I was here. That's right. It's kind of actually unusual because I usually, I usually go bleed for quite a while. You know? And I, I brought a Kleenex and I, it's just dry. Weird. That's right here. Usually it just keeps going and keeps going. It's just like there's nothing there. Okay. Put your hand on. Sally. Or whatever entity is here at the Sally House, we are coming to you tonight to speak with you. We've given you our blood, and we've been here before. You might remember Jeff and Colin. That's me and my dad. We're right here. Connor is new. His sister Courtney was here before. So tonight, we are inviting you to speak with us. I just want to know who you are, and I want to get to the bottom of it. The blood's making it stick on the board. <laughs> okay. Sally, are you here with us? You hear that? What'd you hear? A whistle. Yeah, I did actually. Forgive me. What? It's on an S. It's on an S. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Oh yeah, I thought that was easy. So the blood ritual, I know that's going to be a really controversial thing um, to people online. People are going to call us idiots. It is obviously a very dangerous thing to do, but we've all studied the paranormal for years now. I've done numerous blood rituals and I really wanted an answer this time because this is the third and final time we're going to the Sally House and I wanted to actually create that personal connection to get like, the energy to be able to manifest and speak with us that night. Now afterwards off camera we did our own cleansing things, we did rituals, actually kind of protected ourselves with a lot of advice from Rhonda. Um, but yeah I mean there's always going to be an element of when you perform an act like that. but. I think in doing that simple thing, it's charged the energy of the house that night because, I mean, just take a look at what started happening immediately after we finished the Ouija board. Okay guys, so we had to put a towel under the board because it was sliding around a bunch on this table. Um, that's why you're gonna see this jump cut right now, but we're gonna keep doing the session. This is the very beginning. Uh, Sally, are you here? We've talked to you and we're not going to be scared by what you're doing tonight. So you're going to have to show us what you are. Why don't we play a game? Do you want to play a game? That's a yes. The one in the kitchen too. What's the game? He doesn't want to play any games. You say no? Yeah. Okay, Sally, we've dealt with you before. We're not falling for that tonight. Oh. 
Presence. Presence. There's a presence here. Oh, look at that. It's getting colder over there. Damn it, it just stopped. Stacy. Stacy. Okay. Oh, look, there it is again. Look at that. Getting colder over there. Okay, Sally. Keep coming in. We're breaking the rules tonight of the Ouija board just because we want you to be able to come with us. Gregory. Oh, Gregory, your hometown. That's, that's where I'm Jeff's from. hometown. Oh, Gregory. That's bizarre, man. What the f***, dude? This Peter. thing always... T Peter. You went with me last time. My favorite artist, Peter Steele. Like Peter. <sighs> Look at that thing getting colder. It's getting colder. I feel it getting colder in here, do you? Fortune. Fortune. Sally, we've been here three times. This is our third time now. I... There it goes. I would really appreciate if you would just really come out tonight and show us who you truly are. I'm trying to get off the board. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. Dude, dude, no, I just oh, saw something. Oh, yo, what the f was that? I dude, just saw something dude, by the stairs. Dude, 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 dude. I just saw something walk by the stairs. Dude, the cap all gone off. That's going off. I just saw something by the rim pod by okay, the stairs. No, 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 this is he's a ball. Here. A ball. Oh, he's here! Okay. He's here! I swear to God, I saw something. Okay, there's a no, ball. there was, dude, there was movement right there. Okay, well, there was a ball over there that I got pushed oh down God. the stairs. I no think way. one of the balls got pushed down the stairs. It did, it did. It 100% had to. Okay. Hold on. Oh, it did! It did, bro! It did! Equal. 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 Yo, what the f did we do? Please go right. Please go right. Please go right. Upstairs. Yeah, you heard it. Are you coming down? Upstairs. Are you coming down? I'm like about to cry. Oh my god. Don't turn this off. Don't turn this off. We all got dude, the Dude, dude, listen. Listen, if you think about it. I just asked him. You told me to ask something. You gotta really show us. The ball came down. They kicked yeah. the ball down. None of us sitting in chairs. Did you actually get the ball on? Do you, so many no. People see I saw that. So they see I it. saw that out of the corner of my eyes. We well, heard well, it. We heard it. Well, I saw something like roll by the REM pod over here, and I was like, I just saw movement over there. God damn it. Oh. We need to have a static on that. Wow. Oh, damn it. Oh, my God. That was loud. Okay, now what? That was like someone jumping on the stairs. You know what's scary is... So we want to always obey the rules of the Ouija board. And what happens? I'm listening to everything. Ah, I'm listening to everything. When you break the rules of the Ouija board that lets the entity out, and you know what it did? It knocked the ball off. And it got all three of us. Oh, it's got full body <sighs> It got all this three. This is unlike any place, really. No. It got Look at it, it got all three of us to stand up in the middle of the Ouija session, so everybody broke the rule. And now it's fucking out. So we took our hands off the- All three of us did. So now it's out. Did you hear me? Yes. Hello. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, yo, oh, I'm getting oh, chills. Guys. Okay, we did hear you, yes. <laughs> we heard you. What do you want us to do next? Dude, that was like... Nurse, 
a command after a command. Nurse, the doctor that lived mm-hmm. here. Oh, shit. I'm feeling totally like headache. God, I'm not sick. Dude, I'm just I just think the, the thing we need to realize is the end. <sighs> basement! Oh. First time we came here, it said to go to the basement. What's your favorite part of the house? Upstairs, basement. Basement. Oh my oh, god, no fing way. No fing way. That's crazy. What? That's an impossible to even fake, too. Oh, oh my god. god. I follow up with Look a call. Let me see Colin. Okay. Do you want us to come to the basement? Intent. What's your intent? Should we come down to the basement? Is that what you're saying? Coming downstairs. It's like an ambulance. Do you want us to come to the basement? Is that what you're saying to me? I think it's made itself clear. One all the way to the top. You want us to come to the basement? First time we... The light just died! Light just died! Light just died! Look at that. The, the red, red light. light! The red light! Full battery just full died. Battery. Full battery just died. First time we... The light just died! Light just died! Light just died. First time we... The light just died! Light just died! Light just died. If you come... If you come with an understanding of the Ouija and the paranormal. Anytime you lift your hands off the board, it's bad. If you all lift your hands off, that that's what people recommend you don't do because you let the entity out. And that's what, you gotta think about it. This thing is smart. This thing just knocked a ball off. So it knew that we'd all take our hands off and go film it. So now it's out. It played the game and knows that it's free, you know? And look at it. It's ancient. It just killed our light. We've been filming, what, 20 minutes? I have 15% on this battery. That's when what we, I'm saying. When we sat down at the table, I had 89. Home. Okay, I don't know what's on here. It just said home. It's Sally. We finally found Sally. And she's fucking right here. And she's pissed. And she's fucking mad. Whatever that is. God damn, dude. Okay, let's uh, take some breaths, man. We gotta, like, get through. We're just starting. Okay. <sighs> okay, Sally, are you over there? Okay. In the kitchen. Okay. Yeah, there's, a, there's a, a voice or some kind of a... This is how it starts every time. It starts so slow. My heart is beating yeah. out of my chest right But now. it's gonna get so much yeah. worse, dude. It's gonna get so much worse. Choose. Choose. Do you wanna leave or do you wanna stay? I'm staying, but... Okay, let's go back. Let's come You're gonna set that ball back up. Uh, Put a static over there. Poisoned blood. Okay, guys, so... I was about to say, we all took our hands off the Ouija board. <laughs> we made the mistake already. 
think about that, guys. Yeah, Whatever, you know, the thing is about Sally, is this thing is smart. Think about that. When, out of all these Ouija sessions, have we all taken our hands off the board? Connor. Cr I heard that. Anybody. Brown eyes. <sighs> Same thing. Skinwalkers around. Skinwalkers. Oh, That's really strange. I don't think I've ever heard it. Is it down? Oh, it's a different ball, guys. Is it the big one? No, it's a small red one. Well, you're gonna have it on the camera, dude. You're gonna what? have it on the camera. Did you? You got the stairs up, right? Yeah. Well, then it's gonna show it. Is that the one from the closet? He brought it down. Attack. He brought it down. Got hit with uh, tears. Day. Okay, we're just. Can gonna you leave. see my eyes? We're just gonna leave. Watery. Okay, we're just gonna leave. Okay. You wanna close this out? No. God, I just start crying. I had tears. I don't know why. There's so someone's here. I think it's Sally. But, so we f***ed up, Sally, dude, Sean. I keep saying S names. Something got us to all take our hands off the Ouija board by knocking them balls off. And I did that even when we're starting the intro, you know, to distract us. So, let's just finish this, all right? We'll, we'll close it out. All right, Sally, we did this really, we did this really to just have you come out and speak with us, but we're saying goodbye and ending this Ouija session. So goodbye. We did the. Presence. Again, presence again. Think about it. Remember? We did the. Uh, presence. Yeah. Thomas, there's a presence here twice. We did the scleral shells. Yeah, I know. Which are. People aren't going to want that. Black eyes. Black eyes. They cover the whole white. Uh, I'm going to have to oh. so. So, pull up the black eye. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, this is the black eyes are. Scleral shells, which are all black. The whole white eye will be black. We have those with us. So that I... Okay, Sally, or whatever other spirit is here, can you knock another ball down the stairs for us? I heard a scream just now. Yell, make a big bang. It's someone else. Oh, come on. It's, it's not, not Sally. Sally. That's what they were saying all day. Yeah, they were. So, 
what we were talking about in the earlier interviews is that people think Sally might be an actual good, like a girl, you know? Like Sally could be a spirit of a child who's here. But they think there's someone else. And that's exactly what it is. And no one knows who or what this is. Craziness. If it's another spirit that's not Sally, can you make a noise wherever you're at? I'm going to leave. I'm going to go on the record go and right. say, yeah. go right again. It keeps telling us to go right. I'm like crying, dude. Something is making me feel very emotional right now. Who or what it would be? Where are you? What the f are you, Sally? Sally, do you hear us talking to you? Do you want to hurt one of us, Sally? Join us. Yeah, no, I don't think so. No. You saw me. Where do we see you? It's watching you. From the basement? Dude, we need to go to the basement. I think we do a basement DR60. Okay. Blonde hair. Blonde hair. Huh. To the right would be our right. Would be... Flash. I was just... <laughs> Look at this I was... So, to explain, I was just affected to the point where I was crying, and I don't know why. And I think tonight, Sally, or whoever he is, or she, God, whoever this is, is getting, getting, it's getting onto me for the first time. It's getting onto me. And I'm feeling, I'm just feeling something, connection, something wise to it. But I think it called us the first time to the basement. Remember? Mm -hmm. Our very first time it said, go to the basement. And this is different, dude. This is so different. I mean, Jeff, when did we have two balls rolling immediately? Anything like that. It's ancient. Said it again. It's again. It's like, I mean, yeah. The only thing I can think of is a ping pong ball. That's the only thing I remember. I don't remember a ball. The ping pong was a. Yeah, it's not here, but I mean, just an all for me. Twice, too. But yeah, I've never had a ball, though. Can you no. Know? Twice. Not, not even once. This is different tonight. I think it's different. Yeah, it's definitely different tonight. <laughs> I'm not sure what's different about it other than it is. It's yeah. It's not. It's like we haven't. Have it. Ha, it hasn't shown us everything yet. It's just kind of starting. I think. Anxiety. Oh, blonde hair. Anxiety. I have. You're like. I've been diagnosed with anxiety, and I'm feeling weird tonight. Okay. Crying, dude. Crying. Playing. Playing. <laughs> okay. So, we're gonna go down to the basement right now and see what exactly this thing wants. Maybe it'll roll the balls down, but Sally! Just heard a bang. 
or whatever you are, come down with us to the basement. All right? Okay, let's do this, guys. This just feels wrong. This feels very wrong. Oh! Yeah, that's Connor, that's film that, film that. Are you filming? There it goes. That's sad, I got it. It's getting colder over there. Can you knock the ball down? Can you knock another ball down, please, for us? Poltergeist. Did that say it again? Yes. I don't understand why that REM pod hasn't gone off in so long. Our the whole trip. The square one. trip. Ever. The square that one. one never goes no. off. Yeah. All last night, it's the same battery. We change our batteries every single investigation. Lucy. Hmm. Lucy. Gotten that before. Lucy. That's a short term for Lucifer. <laughs> I'm making noise. <laughs> it knows it. It knows it. You don't have to. The church. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't have to. Oh! Oh! Uh, and the cat balls went off again. And that the church and nurse twice. Oh, the church twice. came up. The church came up. Cat knocked off a ping pong ball from the stairs. God f***ing damn it, dude. Three times in one, what, 30 f***ing minutes? Did you hear that? Okay. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Do you want to go down and explain that? Cause... So our third ball just got knocked down tonight. And what I was just saying off camera is that, you know, I, don't, I say all the time, I don't believe in demons. It's not that I don't believe in demons. I'm just, you know, I don't Jeez, want... Are... We know you. People want to hear from you. Blonde hair, we know you. God, I felt really bad all day. So I don't believe in demons, but I believe in negative energy manifestations. So we've been to so many places in the last couple of years that are not outdoors. They're not good spirits. They're not human. You can tell a human spirit when it's a human spirit, but God, I feel just terrible. Yeah, so you're this already. I don't. I believe there are things out there now after doing this video and other videos that are not human. There's something there that we don't understand and we never will. I'm very lonely here. <laughs> there you go. This has been fucking insane. It's been 30 minutes. There you fucking go. And your camera just died, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, his camera just yeah. died. Look at that, Jeff. Yeah, his camera just died. The main fucking camera just died. It's different. Tonight is different, and I'm... Okay, I think it might be related to doing the blood ritual. I don't think so. You I don't? It's whatever's here. It's always okay. been here, and it's always done this to us. Last time, you were sitting in that fucking chair sobbing. I know. So I, I just think it's interesting. The noise was me. <laughs> wow. So, Colin, I just think, like, the idea of the word... To pull ourselves together here, the demon word, it's just that you just don't believe in the Christian. No, okay. I'm not religious, okay, so but I don't still, affiliate with the religion. The word demon just really means a bad entity. That's what I feel it right? is. And that's strict definition. It doesn't have to mean a Christian bad entity. No, we do. Sense, so. so you have to understand, we do a ghost hunt every, you know, six or seven a month. And only a select few of those cases turn out to be what we would call demonic. And not only according to us, but according to every single paranormal researcher that's been to this house, this is a demon. This is not quantifiable. This is not a dead person. I don't feel that. <laughs> Keep the secret. 
There you f***ing go. <laughs> control! Control. Keep this secret. I it wants to control been, us. No, I've been telling you to get control. <laughs> it's, it's weird, man. It's so weird. That's why I love it. I love feeling that unease because it's so real. It's what it is. It's the reality of it, but... This is not human, and I don't usually say this, but 100% fact, Sally House is not haunted by a human spirit. And this footage already shows you why. <laughs> it's only been 30 minutes. Stop the camera. Oh my gosh. Stop the camera. No, we're gonna keep, Connor, what, what do you think? So I fun. mean, I've dealt with a lot of this stuff, yeah. demonic energies, and I mean, you can call it what you want. <laughs> if a, a demonic energy, it like, oh, dude, the moment you say demonic energy. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, what the f, dude? Oh, okay, let's, let's talk through it. So, no matter what you want to call it, there's. Demons across pretty much every religion and all mm -hmm. pretty much this demon is Across these religions is a spirit. that's not human and it has nothing Nine. but ill will and Malice in its heart call it what you want oh My gosh, dude, we see this thing is making that's me crazy cry again we might need to take this, Jeff. Do you see this? Yeah, I can see. Tears? Yeah. I think we might need to have There's too much energy. We might have to have Colin step outside and get a little air. No, I'm good. I'm good. I want to go to Because we got to get through Connor this. Finish. There's people who don't believe in demons. There's people who don't believe in these spirits at all. Mm -hmm. But when you come face to face with one of these things, you can tell when a spirit is human and when it's inhuman. And when something has good will and bad will for you. Mm. Bad will. Right when you said bad will. And I would say kind of like last night. We felt like... We that, felt like it was... It was there, there wasn't really any... I'm going to talk through it. Didn't really feel like there was any ill no. intent people. Dude, it's standing right here. Yeah. Margaret. All the spirits last night, it, they seemed kind, but like they seemed like they were sad. Right. But nothing like evil. Can you please step away from that? The one behind please you step going off, too. Oh my God. Can you please step away from that? Let us have a little bit of silence. Thank you. Keep going. Get out of here. But Abraham. at the end of the day, you can't discredit the stuff that happens at locations like this, like Hinsdale, like the Conjuring House. I mean, there's evidence all over of people coming in here and coming into contact with something that's nothing but evil. I think that is definitely what's in this place. Demon, whatever you want to call it, it's evil. And that's... At the end of the day, that's all you need to know. In well, inhuman. Let me put it this way. I don't think we've ever filmed one single video where we've put up all those balls and three different balls have been knocked down already. <laughs> yeah, it's not the same ball. No, a ping pong ball, a, a huge ball, ball, and a medium-sized ball. All different balls, all different. different stairs. Something upstairs is calling us up there, but... It's, it told us to go to the basement, so I think we should pause this and just go down there and say, okay. yeah, God. I'm going to go get uh, an image of the ball. You want to come over yeah. there, Connor, yeah. with me? Yeah. Let's go look. Connor, you did our cone take just a break there. Wow. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Sure? Okay, so in fairness, um, the red ball we left there, the but we've got a ping pong ball. Oh, it's the clear ping pong ball. Where was that set up? That was right underneath that ball over there. So, anything? Look, you guys. What do you feel? 
Okay. It's around me. Okay. Look at that, Connor. Stop. He wants me tonight. <laughs> okay, Sally. We're gonna go downstairs. Okay, god damn it. I gotta shake this off. Dark. Dark. So the Sally House has never been a place that's given us poltergeist activity. It's never moved objects on camera for us. We've never really heard footsteps. We've never heard banging. But this activity goes to show that on that night, I don't know if this is a permanent thing, the energy in that building has changed drastically. It is much more intense now. It's much more violent and physical. And like I said, we never have seen anything really move on camera at the Sally House. Three different balls getting knocked off the stairs. And if you actually watch that footage, you can see the ball sitting there and then it slowly just gets pushed. It's not like it's the whole time kind of tipping. It's like you can see something push it. So that was really, really frightening. And as you can see in this footage, the energy of that place was really affecting me. I can't really think of a place that's affected me that much. And it was scary. It was really starting to get into my mind and my psyche. I was screaming louder than usual. I was crying. There was just so much going on. And then when it called me out and said blonde hair and, and everything like that, um, I knew that Sally had found her target that night and it was me, but I still wanted answers. That's what we wanted that night. We wanted her to come out and target us so we could have this conversation. So we knew we had to head down to the basement. Okay guys, so we're in the basement right now. <sighs> Underneath the Sally house. First, before we do anything, we're going to do the DR60 right here. You ready? Yeah. Okay, Sally. You wanted us down here. Who or what are you? Can you tell me how you died? If you died? Okay, Sally, or whoever you are, can you just tell us your name? Just say Sally, or if you're another girl, anything to give us a clue, you're here. Why do you enjoy hurting people? Or scaring them? What is that? Why are you still here? What did you push down the stairs? Am I sitting on where the pentagram was? The demon symbol? Where are you? Where do you want us to go next?
Upstairs. Wow. Upstairs. Can you play that again? Yes. Let's play it again. I heard upstairs at the very end. Okay, Sally. You wanted us down here. Who or what are you? Can you tell me how you died? Have you died? Okay, Sally or whoever you are, can you just tell us your name to say Sally or if you're another girl, anything to give us a clue you're here. Why do you enjoy hurting people or scaring them? What is that? Why are you still here? What did you push down the stairs? Am I sitting on where the pentagram was? The demon symbol? Where are you? Where do you want us to go next? Upstairs. I hear upstairs. Upstairs. I think we go upstairs. Do you want to do this? No, I think we do it upstairs. Really? Yeah. Okay. This doesn't feel as creepy at all. And the upstairs is where everyone thinks Sally is. Yeah. You know? Okay. You ready to go? I'll grab this. I guess. Okay. It's different to see how the haunting of Sally House is much different than a lot of other places that I've been to. Uh, it's quiet. It doesn't talk. It's more like in your head almost. Like driving you crazy. It doesn't like to make noise. It almost just kind of latches on to you and attacks you. But we decided that we wanted to go upstairs to see if we pushed through if Sally would play with us. Okay guys, so we're gonna head upstairs right now and Jeff has the SLS camera. We're gonna see if there is some sort of anything. I mean, it's been telling us to go upstairs. And we heard it upstairs. Yeah, we heard it upstairs. It's been knocking the balls off and we've never done the SLS here in the Sally house and I'm excited to see what it's gonna pick up. You agree? <laughs> oh, look at the cat ball over there. That's the first time that's gone off. Yeah. That one. Yeah, look at that. You have to push him off, dude. Chop for the big one. Oh, I can't, I don't know where stuff. But still, I mean, crazy, huh? Okay, Yo, well, you know what? Huh. That no. line was not there. No, it was not. What? Really? No. Holy shit. I'm pretty sure that line was up on the bed. We can play back footage yeah. from earlier. Did you set that up? No. No, this little, this little circle. Cool. We were talking about that earlier and we we're like, that's creepy as yeah, shit. That is creepy. But that line wasn't there in that circle. Mm -mm. We're coming in, we just, this tool, just maps out your body, your spiritual body, if you would, please. Just show up for us. We're going to give you some time. It feels weird up here. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Here, here we go. Oh. Okay, hold on. Okay, it's on the okay, bed. Okay, we got it's something on right the bed. here. It's actually on the bed. This is the room they say is the most haunted in okay. the building. Can you lay on the bed? Sally, is that you? Oh, look at, look at, look at, it's coming like, God, Sally is huge. I don't think it's Sally. Yeah, I don't know. It's whatever they call Sally. Who are you? You're right here. 
kind of like sitting on the bed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like sleeping right now. Whoa. It's on the bed. Oh, look, oh, it laid down. Oh, it Dude, laid down. It's completely laid down across the bed. Um, so like, can you make a sound like hit the headboard? Thank you, Sally. Okay, I don't know what. Uh, oh, oh where did, where's it going? Oh. Connor, uh, why don't you go over and see if it can reach over to you on the dresser? We're at oh. It. oh, shit, it, it left. God, it's hot oh, in here. It's very hot. It's fing hot as shit in here. Okay, I got one on the bed again. Got one on the bed again. Okay. Sally's on the oh, bed. Oh, 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 it went off! Oh, shit. Jesus. <gasps> Sally! Where'd you go? Okay, come back, Sally. Oh, oh! This one's like this one's going on. I can't, I can't get a picture of it. Okay guys, so we're upstairs in the Sally house in Sally's room and before we do an Estes We've already identified that there's a figure in the main bedroom over there. What is that room? Master bedroom. The master? I mean History wise, I don't really know It's just where they slept, but we're gonna use the uh, dual port here in the room and try to see if we can hear Sally's voice or whatever pretends to be Sally's voice out loud So, Sally, if you're here, we want to talk to you. Can you say something to us? like children's songs. Should we sing Twinkle Twinkle Had a Little Star? <laughs> twinkle Twinkle Had a Little Star? Oh, what is it? Twinkle Twinkle, twinkle Little, little Star. star. Oh. <laughs> wow, Twinkle Twinkle Had a Little Star. <laughs> Something happened hey. Twinkle Twinkle. Twinkle Twinkle, 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 twinkle Toes and a Little Star. Okay. Should we? Yeah. Okay. Sally! Music, yeah. You might like this one. One. Two, three. Twinkle, 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 little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Can you say something clear to us? Just so you, we know that you hear us. You know, the thing is, I don't think Sally's ever going to talk to us, you know? It's Estes or nothing. That's what we've had success with in the past, is the Estes. And I think we just do that. What do you guys think? It's like it doesn't even want to use this. No. So, tonight we're going to do an experiment. So, Connor and Jeff are going to sit outside of the house, and I'm going to sit in here completely alone, isolated, in a closet, doing the Estes method. We're going to be in a phone call, so uh, Jeff and Connor's questions are going to come through out loud to Sally. 
but I'm gonna be alone in the closet and I won't be able to hear those questions because they'll be outside, so. I don't know if I'm ready for that. More brave than I. Yep. Well, I'll kick it off at the end here. I guess. I'm feeling drained. Yeah. It's fing hot. This is always drained just when we come here. Yeah. I'm just like shot. Well. So after doing the dual port session, it was kind of shocking. I mean, we really weren't getting much activity. And this is the thing with the Sally House, guys. It's, it's intense for 20, 30 minutes, then it's dead silent. Then Sally comes back to play and it's just so present. And that's what most investigators that have been to the building will tell you. It's not this consistent, you know, activity. It's psychological. It's almost as if Sally's playing a game with you. She'll give you these really nice little pieces of information and, and experiences to show you that she is there. And then she'll disappear to kind of f with your head. But that's when we knew we had to bring out the big guns, AKA the Estes Method session. So we've done the Estes at the Sally House twice in the past, but we've never done it with me alone in the house. Since Sally was targeting me that evening and I felt like her energy was just encompassing me, I decided that I would sit in the closet where Rhonda felt the evil scariness was and have Jeff and Connor step outside to ask the questions over the cell phone. Um, yeah, I think that was a maybe a mistake in hindsight, but yeah, this footage is just absolutely chilling. Okay guys, so to end our investigation tonight at the Sally House, I'm going to stay alone upstairs in the pitch black and do an Estes session. So we've never done something quite like this. So we've done Estes method sessions here in the Sally house in the past. Now what we've usually done is sit in Sally's room with everybody in there asking questions. So we're all centralized. But tonight the psychic told us that this room is where she felt the energy was. This is the room that people say is more evil than others. And we've never done an Estes right in here. And with the balls moving and all of that, we felt like this would be the natural place to do an Estes. But Jeff and Connor are about to go downstairs and leave me upstairs completely alone. So there's going to be no noise contamination at all. And I won't be able to hear obviously a single thing that they say. I'm going to call them on the phone so that their answers and questions are repeated out loud in this room. And uh, yeah, I'm a little freaked out to do this. It's really hot up here. We're all feeling very sick right now. Um, we're gonna talk about this later, but I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm freaked out. I don't really wanna do this, but Sally or whoever's in here, I'm pouring you tea. Come, come have a tea party with me, all right? All right. All right. So here, let me put this on. How about you call me real quick? So we're on the phone. <clears throat> this is extreme, even for us. <laughs> if you hear me scream or something, though, please come up. If I can hear you scream, I will definitely. Or I'll get in the car. And leave me? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me put this on. All right, buddy. All right, Jeff, let's get out of here. That's it. See ya. Yeah. Go ahead and fall down those. Don't leave, bitch. He's mine now. Huh? It's real, the darkness. I'll sit right here. Yeah, I need you. Do we have a stand to put on? Um, get over yourself. Who's in the house He's right mine now? now? Who's in there? Who am I talking to? A weakling. <laughs> are, you, are you glad that you have Colin in there by yourself? It's more than me. 
It's everything. Is whatever in the house... Oh, I'm feeling like a choking sensation. Is whatever in the house a demon? I know you. Can you say my name? Jeff. Jeffrey. Who knows your name? I remember you. Oh, I feel like someone's stroking my arm. Oh, I'm touching you. Ah! Oh. Okay, don't touch me, please. I just want to talk to you. Can you tell me who you are? Do I feel a magnetic on my arm? It's so dark in here. Turn a light on. Why are you so mean to the Your people daughter. who come here? Yeah, that's my name. Your grandfather. Your place is down. What's that supposed to mean? Who Why are, are you, you out there? Because we're leaving. Tell him to shut up! Damn. Shut up, bitch. Shut up. <laughs> God, what the f? Over by the bed. God, please don't be by the bed. He's all alone. Yeah, I calmed all alone. I'm coming for you later tonight. <laughs> Are you trying to follow us home? Are you trying to follow us home? I'm not happy here. Why are you still in the house? I don't know. Are you stuck? I was brought here. Who Hello? Brought you? Who brought you here? Hello? Who brought you here? Jessica. Jessica brought you there? Oh man, I'm feeling somebody cr coming up right on me. I'm just feeling a, a f somebody's coming in here. Are you in the closet with Colin? Square. Ball. Was it you who knocked Friday. down the balls? Were you the one who knocked Let down the balls? Let me die! Why are you so mean? I'm getting closer to him. Are you gonna try to attack him? I know you. I feel Don't like ask me. You're not answering my questions. Just let me live. What do you want? You've got to answer my questions. What are you? Ha <laughs> ha. Just kidding, that's not it. There's something I want. Tell me what you want. What do you want? Oh, dude, I feel like I'm hearing footsteps out there. Like feeling them on the floor. That's it. You know. I'm getting freaked out in here, man. The banana. Where are you?
Oh, she heard a creepy voice. Right in front. Like that. Right in front. God, God, dude, I'm feeling cold. I'm feeling very freaked out right now. Are you in front of Colin? That's it. Please, I have a white light around me. You're not allowed in front of me. I am envisioning it, and it's true. I'm right here. What are you trying to do? I'm watching rape. Yeah. Bloodthirsty. Can you tell me what you want from your grandma? You can't talk about my grandma like that. I won't allow it. Gnashing teeth for you. Oh, I'm getting cold in here, bro. I'm getting cold in here. There's so many more. You'll never know. So many more what? Bite him! Hey, we're gonna be done for the, tonight, so... Tell You're us... Never. Okay, just tell us again... Who you really, you really are. Just be quiet! Well, what name do you go by? Because we know that you're not who you think. King of town. Sally, you're not really a little girl. You're jealous, aren't you? Uh, not really. Of something. Oh man, it's getting cold in here, guys. He's weak, just like you. Okay, do you are you trying to Here's attach? Here's something else. Are you trying to attach to Colin? Cause you can't. What's your you. purpose? I see you guys. I'm right beside you. Ha ha ha! God, this is. What's your purpose of staying in this house? Why don't you just move on to somewhere else? Check me. Everywhere. <laughs> These laughs are fucking crazy, dude. Um, it's like a man and a woman at the same time. <laughs> Everywhere. I'll get inside of you. No, you're, you can't come with us. You won't be able to get inside of any of us. Good night. Good night. Are you done? <laughs> Are you done? Are you Do you want to be done? <laughs> you want us to leave? It'll never happen. Your mom's fucked. Don't forget me. Well, we are gonna forget you because you're I not feel coming like with I'm, us. I'm getting like a weird coldness. I don't want to keep moving. That's kind of what I'm wondering. Like, you know, is he actually? Like it's been 15 minutes already. Yeah, and plus it's like it sounds like it might be trying to you know, go with him. Quiet. You can talk though. <laughs> what do you think? I think at fifty. Yeah. Yeah, because it seems like he's getting colder and that kind of stuff, you know. And just it's not saying any. It's not trying to yeah. help us with questions. It's, it's really just not. being insulted. There's nothing to say. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go tap All him right. out. All right. <laughs> I finished right, it. In. I knew this would happen. I'm gonna follow him. Good luck. But it's always here.
the noise there. Somewhere. Something. I'm gonna tap you out. Uh, God. Those 15 minutes of just like it being an asshole. Yeah. Anything? Not, not really Except, any I mean, of, answers to any sense. questions. It was just, they just being screwing nasty. With, just screwing with us. God, I feel terrible. Yeah, I think let's get out of the room. Let's get out of the house. I think it's. I think it's taken enough from us tonight. Yeah. I feel weird tonight though. Okay. Well. All right. Okay. Different than before when we ended the episode. Yeah. Way different. It's very different. All right. This place affected me differently than a lot of other places I've been to. It almost made me feel like I was delirious. Like everything that was going on couldn't be real. But even though this stuff was happening right in front of my face, uh, I was having trouble making thoughts, just weird. I had never felt like this before, but I was definitely feeling like I was being attacked and drained the whole night. Sally's crazy. Don't know if it's safe to go there, honestly. But that's a night that I will never forget. And yeah, yeah. So that's the end of our Sally House investigation, part three. Um. I guess we'll see you guys next week. Uh, actually, this is not the end of the video. So, this is where it gets crazy. So in the past, I'm actually got goosebumps right there when I said that. So in the past, we've gone into great detail with you guys about the weird things that have happened to us after filming these videos, specifically at the Sally House, because Sally is an entity that's known to attack and attach to people. We've had Sally follow us. We've gotten her name on different investigations. In the past, I've had nightmares, but this time, I definitely think it has something to do with the blood ritual. The cleansing didn't really work, and we've been experiencing some absolutely terrifying paranormal activity just here in the apartment. Stuff has been moved. I mean, this may seem like dumb and trivial, but yesterday, I could not find the cat food. I was looking everywhere for the cat food for our cat kitty. And it was just in the back of my closet behind all my shirts, which I'm like, I didn't obviously put the cat food back there. Courtney didn't either. Um, little things like that stuff's been going missing around here. But what really made me realize that this is probably Sally was the very first night that we actually filmed this video, Courtney called Connor and I and told us that she had been experiencing some weird things here in the apartment. She said she was hearing people like out in our kitchen area, um, almost as if someone had broken in and had walked down our hallway into the apartment. Um, and just like banging noises, I'm trying to describe it, but she just felt like somebody was here. And she had no idea that that evening was the night that we were doing the Sally House ritual. I've had nightmares the past couple of weeks. Connor has had nightmares and they are very scary. I had a dream the other night where I killed somebody. I had a dream the other night where I was driving my car drunk and hit two pedestrians and killed them. Like all these just really strange and violent dreams. And so that's why tonight we're not gonna end the video at the Sally house. We are bringing it here to my apartment here in Houston, Texas, where Connor and I right now are about to go investigate. So, Connor's behind the camera right now. I know him and I, we've both been dreading doing this because I don't know if I really want to get an answer, but you ready? Not necessarily. <laughs> I mean, we've always felt, I mean, after this investigation at the Sally house that there was something that stuck around with us. Yeah. And... As much as you'd like to say that, oh, it's nothing violent, uh, I think this time we might have bit off a little bit more than we can chew. Yeah, it's def- It's f***ing weird. That. Yes, I heard that, and I got, right when that, I got like a cold up my leg. Because, I mean, also, <laughs> at the same time, the this apartment 
is home to other haunted objects as well. Yeah. And you can so, say that. We have a whole wall of haunted artifacts right behind car <laughs> in a museum. We, we don't necessarily used to like to talk about them just because a lot of them do have a dark past and we don't want to acknowledge the things that they're really connected to, but I think it holds a major factor in maybe what is in our home, but I mean, even Courtney experiencing stuff while we're at the Sally house. Courtney's been to the Sally house. Yeah, that's true. She's linked. And so we're there and Sally's like, oh, you didn't bring your friend this time. <laughs> I'll just go pay her a visit. <laughs> so, I mean, I think we're, we're in for a treat tonight. Uh, not so tasty one. <laughs> okay, I guess it's time. Let's investigate. Hey everybody, it's Colin here. Thank you for watching today's video. Hello to all the new subscribers and hello to the rest of our beautiful, wonderful, spooky family. As you know, every single week here on the channel, we give away a free gift bag to one lucky viewer of the show. And this week to enter the contest, all you have to do is like today's video. Let's smash that like button and comment. That house is scary. In the comments section below. I'm going to give you all 10 seconds to do this now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. So go comment, you can comment multiple times. It helps the video so much. But anyways, let's get back to today's video. Thank you for listening to my little spiel. I love you guys so much and stay spooky. Okay guys, so we're sitting right now in the middle of my apartment. We, we just filmed the interview, you could wear the same shirt. Check that out, Connor, you wanna show that? Our proximity meter which we did not expect to even go off before we started rolling, went off like somebody standing right in there. Oh. What the f was that? Yo, it actually is like fucking kind of creepy. We've never like- This is the first investigation we've done here in this in the apartment. apartment. And we've had lots of other unrelated paranormal activity. We can make a whole video about that. I think based on the stuff that we have in our like museum. Dude, look at my fucking arm all of a sudden actually. Not, like not even kidding. You see how all my hair is on end? Yeah. I got like go mad goosebumps all of a sudden. Here's Connor by the way. Yeah, so we've got a REM pod, a music box, the proximity meter. A REM pod right here. And then afterwards we're gonna do a DR60 and a Estes Method session sitting here because I really want... <sighs> Damn it! Be you wary of her? Dude, what the hell, Connor? God. <laughs> First we didn't even start. It's like somebody's warning us. Be wary of who? Sally. I know, but oh! <laughs> when you said Sally! When you fing said Sally, dude! Oh my god. Oh my Jesus. Yeah, I'm gonna turn mine on too. Sarah. Sarah? An S name? It's kinda eerie. I don't like it. Okay, so. We're here in my apartment. That thing's going off like crazy too. Um, I know that one of you followed us here from one of our locations in the last month. And I think it was you, Sally, or whoever was there that night. So I know you know how to play with paranormal equipment because you were doing it all night with us. If you are here, if somebody's here in our apartment, can you touch one of the red lights again, like you've been doing, or tell us something, use your voice. This shit's so freaky. Yeah, I'm like, it's like, it sucks that we're having to do this and you're... That had to be somebody. But that sounds like a wall. And you have to understand, we're in a corner unit. Yeah, these are windows. So the only wall is far away. <laughs> and in the haunted object room. Damn, you never hear shit like that in here. No. <laughs> what the fuck? 
These, all these walls are like heavy, heavy concrete. It's ancient. That's what it was saying in the video, Connor. I've been editing this video. That's what it was saying in the Sally house. It said it twice on our devices. It's ancient, bro. What the hell? The exact. Maybe. And look at it. It's ancient. It just killed our light. It's, it's ancient. It's said it again. It's I can't. So, I mean, yeah. The only thing I can think of is a ping pong ball. That's the only thing I remember. I don't remember a ball. That's actually trippy. Like, I was editing all day. It said it's ancient. Ancient. Like, three, three times. times there. By the way, Courtney's not here right now. We're just alone in the apartment and we have Katie and Kai in the bedroom, so they're not out here. Oh, that's, it sounds like we're hearing all the, the sounds are coming from the haunted room, which we can't show on camera yet because we're kind of saving that for a later date. But dude, this thing's tripping me out too. It's somebody's fucking right standing right here, dude. Why? Why? Dude, when, when wife? Courtney was here alone when we were doing the Sally House video and she was hearing things walking around the kitchen. Yes, and Sally, Courtney was with us on the first Sally House video. Yeah. Think about that. Maybe it came here because it... I know I heard that. It missed her. <laughs> I don't know, this is kind of f***ing trippy. I don't know if I, I want to do too much to this. I don't. Sally? or whoever's here, we really would like you to come forward. We're sending out our energy right now and we're calling you in because I know you're here and you're around us, but say something to us. Identify yourself, please. Thank you for doing that. Can you really grab a hold of that thing and show us that you're with us? Not likely. Not likely. Oh, what? What the fuck? What the uh, fuck? Ab absolute fuck. Dude, not likely coffin. And did you see that strong ass hit? I actually don't really like doing this in here, man, because I gotta fucking live I'm here. I'm really nervous. Do you live here? Girl! Girl! This is also like our office, too. Yes. So, like, we're always here. <laughs> I work and live here. I not leave my apartment like three times a week because I just work. It's like I could just knock on the window right in there. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off because it's kind of deep in the lot. Can we do a DR60? Let's do this for like five more minutes. Did your light just die? What the fuck? Your light just turned off. It was turned off, but <laughs> I got that on camera. No big deal. Dude, this is so drippy. So, Sarah, maybe be wary of her. I'm gonna ask Please you. Die, so and wife, coffin. I'm gonna ask you right now, Sally, is this you? Oh, a knock. What the f I Helen. Helen? But we never hear noises from neighbors here. Like, the, the walls here are very, very thick. Uh, bang on He's coming. <gasps> Wait, so is Sally actually a he? Because it said he in our video at the Sally house. That's also what I'm nervous about is like we're hearing stuff coming from that room and... My name is Robert. <gasps> Bob! Yeah. Bob! Yeah. What the <laughs> f***, dude? Yeah. Bob! Dude, what? <laughs> oh my god, look at my chills, people. This is sitting in my apartment. What the f***? Dude, okay, while I'm saying that too. damn, bro, he followed us too. So, I mean, Sally's definitely around too. 
He may be fall- Dude, so to refresh her, Rhonda at the Sally house was seeing her spirit guide, a very helpful kind of clingy spirit. She said his name was Bob and he was there to like protect us that night. I've dealt with a lot of this stuff yeah. before yeah. in my Bob. life. And Bob was the woman, the guy that was with uh, mm -hmm. really? the psychic. Tonight. Tonight. Oh said it's, it's her spirit guide. Oh uh, my gosh. Wow. It was a guy who killed himself. Killed himself. We need oh, power. What? Oh. Yeah. Killed himself? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And it was a, it's her spirit guide and he protects her. She said she saw him in the house today. And oh my god, that's crazy. I have a, a guide, Bob, and he goes with me everywhere. If we go to the other house, they'll pick it up. Bob's here on the machine. I go, yeah, he's with me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but this is why I got into this work was because of Bob, because he killed himself. And then I just started digging, and it blossomed into what I'm doing now. And um, I asked him one time. I put this little thing on the shelf in my house, and I said, make that light up. He goes, I'm not, a, I'm not a circus animal. I'm not going to perform for you. And I went, okay, sorry. <laughs> Do they all feel that way? That we're trying to make them perform for them, for us? So, if f***ing Bob's here right now, maybe Sally really is here. And he's, like, here specifically for us right now. I don't know, but that's, like, dude, what the hell? He's coming. My name is Robert. He came. Well, that's good, because he's a protector. Two spirits. Two spirits. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Whoa. my God, bro. Robert, I want to thank you for protecting us. That's crazy, dude. Dude, I cannot even, like, goosebumps up and down my body. That's... Sister. Wife, what? sister. You know, it's really weird as my sister just came. She was here all weekend. Courtney's my sister. Courtney's your sister. It f***ing Sally goes after family, dude. That's our... Wow, this is actually crazy. Sally, can you say your name? Oh, dude, this is actually freaking me the f*** out. I know. <laughs> you, could, you could take us right now and put us in a haunted location, and I would still think this evidence is crazy. So the... Three? Oh God, the fact that this is happening in my apartment is like mind blowing. Or it said sister three. My mom has three sisters. Or she's three sisters, her and two sisters. I don't know, just kind of putting oh, things together. Sisters. Did you follow us from Atchison? She will, she will harm, harm you. you. Be wary of her. She will harm you. Bob, the protector spirits here. Fucking Sally has been around us. That is the goddamn truth right there. What the fuck? Okay, who will harm us? Can you tell us her name? If it says Sally, I'm going home. But it doesn't even matter anymore. I know. <laughs> Followed us from Kansas. Yeah, it's still, she'll come with you tonight. That's one of the tough things about what we do for a living, though, is like, I mean, we're not necessarily going, we're not nasty. We're not just nasty. About to go, I was just about to say, we don't go to the most, like, happy-go-lucky haunted places. Like, we're going to dark spots for all of the videos that we do. Mm -hmm. Who knows what's attached to us? Like, Identify. Identify. Said, what's your name? How many times have I said, identify yourself? I, it's making fun of me now. Say something to us. Identify yourself, please. Okay, identify yourself. Is this Sally? Can you say yes? It's me? Let me rest. It's definitely kind of cold around us, though. Damn, it's freezing, weird, dude. Okay, Sally, we're gonna use another device in a second. Or Bob, I just feel like it's been Sally. Can you tell us yes? Or are you gonna just play little games with us? 
It's also crazy thinking about just like all the bad luck that we've been having recently too. A lot of very bad luck. We've all just kind of been in a funk recently too. Like yes. not feeling very well, not sleeping good. Sally, are you here with us tonight? Setting off a car on. <laughs> that would be crazy. Sally's out there breaking into somebody's Toyota. Here. Oh, fuck. No way. <gasps> That I was really hoping it wouldn't answer. F that god damn, I got goosebumps, guys. Wow, okay, you want to try DR60? Yeah, we can keep these running while we do it. 70. I was a child. I was a child. Sally. I will appear. <laughs> okay, Sally. <laughs> if you're here, we have a little toy over there that you could stand in front of. It'll show us that you're going to appear. Can you go do it? Stop asking. <laughs> I heard movement in the room. I wish we could show them all the objects we have in there, no, but it's, it's, a, it's a future video. It's also video. really dirty, so it's yeah. like, it's not unpacked all the way. Yeah, we've been packing up all the shirts and stuff. Yeah, it's a little bit, looks like a bomb went off. <laughs> Whoever's in here, Sally, Bob, use your voice and speak with us. Okay. Can you tell us, whoever's here, just speak clearly your name? Genevieve. Have you been giving us nightmares and attacking us in our sleep? Why did you choose to follow us? Why are we your target right now? Are you evil? What can we do to help you move on so you're not scaring my wife and me and Connor here, what can we do for you? Love. I love you. <laughs> what the f Did you hear that? This. You see us. Dude, I was about to say, I feel like I'm like really warm on this side. Like there's somebody like right here. I feel that too, just on this side of my leg. Yeah, actually though? Yeah. Dude, it's like f***ing like warm like, right here. Like I can here. feel a temperature difference like on my pants. That's so trippy, dude. It's like it like actually like it's f***ing, it sat down to talk with us. <sighs> Okay, well, let's listen. Okay. See yourself. Noah, whoever's here, just speak clearly your name. Susan. What the hell? 
Sue and Susan? That's my my aunt Sue. What that was in the what kitchen. That was in the kitchen. We've been talking all day about how it targets family. My aunt Susan. And it's saying save yourself. Let's do one more DR60 before we do the Estes, because that was fucking wild. Okay guys, so this has been very eerie. Definitely seems like it's something that followed us from a blood ritual. She is here. People are warning us about she, which I'm taking to be Sally. Hall. Are you over there in the hallway? If that fucking music box goes <laughs> out, I think I'd probably shit my pants. That's fucking eerie though. Hall. The end of the hallway is the museum room. But we're gonna do one more DR60. Okay, really clearly. Tell us your name once again. The evil girl. Maybe if you're not her, tell us who she is, please. Luscious. Why have you been targeting our family? Where did you come from? Like, where did we meet you? How many spirits are in this apartment? I'm actually really f creeped out in here. I know. What the f 
Pro. I straight up. I don't know if that's just matrixing. No, I. It's like, at Sally. And we were dead fucking quiet that entire fucking time. That is so wild, dude. Holy shit. We fight the darkness. Bob. Bob. So we have a protector spirit with us, but they have to be here to protect us from something, AKA <laughs> Sally behind. God damn, that's fucking creepy. Cause the hallway is behind me. What the f dude, your light is dying again? It's not even what dying, it just keeps turning off. Okay, before, before we do the Estes, I'm gonna set this right here. Here's the hallway in our apartment. I gotta say, man, this is fucking. This has been pretty creepy. You know what? I'm gonna get the tripod for this. You have yeah. nightmares. Gerald, and you have nightmares? My name is Lizzie. We want to stay. Your grandma, My your grandma? Great, great grandma who murdered your grandpa. Her ex is in another room. Oh, fuck. That ghost. Dude. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? That's directly related to what's in our museum. Yeah. <laughs> we have, we're not going to talk about the whole story right now because we'll save it. We're saving it for another thing. We have an actual axe that somebody named Lizzie used to murder somebody and you're directly related to them. Yeah. That's fucking creepy as shit, dude. It's this fucking thing. Daughter. William. Dude, what the fuck? Daughter? It's like family. Okay. Philip. Can you tell me who's here with Peppermint. us tonight? No. I was sweet. The shadows. We feel Military. like we feel like whoever's been here with us. Related to the What are you related to? H Harvey? The last man standing. We feel like the the person or spirit who's been hanging around Kansas. with us <laughs> related to Kansas. So this is Sally or Bob. Top doctor. Listen to me. Right, well, Sally, why did you follow you us? You need to be safe, a man's voice. We're trying to well, be safe, Bob. Why did you follow us, Sally? I'm not here forever. Good, because we can't have you staying here. You need what? to leave. Building. What do you want from I like from this us? place. Why do you like being with us? Oh, I'm getting a weird, I don't know who you're asking questions to, but I'm, it's getting f***ing cold around me. That's a great point. We just want I needed to, energy. So you've just been leeching? Fast. Like you, a woman, like fast. You've just been leeching off of us since we went to Kansas? Did you like... Your grandfather. Did you like that we did the blood ritual there? And that's why you've been following us? Don't mess with me. He's in hell. Ugh. I'm not gonna let you intimidate me anymore. That's not gonna work. We have to talk. It's not gonna work for me, Sally. I'm freaked out, man. The hallway. Look at the him. hallway. Look at them in the hallway. Who all's here right now? 
a bunch of your loved ones. Percentage. The best. Oh, I just heard. The best. Like a woman. Ugh. I've trapped them. I think you're just trying to play with my emotions. Jail. You just love the fact that you can <laughs> attack people's families. We're not gonna let God you do that. God is king. We're not gonna let you do that anymore. After tonight, you have to leave. You have to go back to Kansas. Dude, very f***ing creepy. Like a, I can't even make this up, little girl. Ha ha ha. This isn't a I'm joke. I'm getting cold around me. I feel it like right here. I don't even know what direction I'm kind of pointing at, but it's like it's, I feel it on my skin, dude. It's f***ing up my body. I come and go. It's not me. You need to leave. You're not allowed to be here anymore. Any ties that she's we, dangerous. Any the man's ties voice. that we made with the Sally House are cut now. You before can, that night. Before that you night. Should, what? You should have pled with me. How so? How so? She'll hurt. I visit. Shh. I just heard a shh. It's like there's two, bro. I really think it's Bob and Sally. Bob, have you been trying oh, to protect then like us? A, hey. Have you been trying to protect us, Bob? It's not human. I've been trying That's to tell you. Creepy as fuck. <laughs> it's not human. People have been saying all Please. the time. Please. Sally's spirit's not actually a little girl. It's a demon that poses as a little girl. Ugh. I almost have like a choking feeling. <sighs> like that. Sally, tell me, I'm listening to you. What is your real name? Died in battle. Tell Colin what your real name is. Gettysburg. <laughs> Gettysburg. Gettysburg. Bang. I'm certain. It's uncertain. What She's an imposter. It doesn't want to say its name. Dude, there's a man here that is protective and f***ing that creepy whatever the hell it is. That's the pilot. I'm telling you, it's a demonic attack. Or, or maybe that was Pontius Pilot. I couldn't tell. Say your name. Say your real name. Oh my god, a woman. You found me. Like that, dude. Oh my god, that was f***ing creepy. Oh, I got goosebumps. I don't know if you can see it. We're cutting ties tonight. William. All negative energies that are in this apartment have to leave. We're not going to let you... Gabool. You have no power over us anymore. Bob. 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 Holy f***. <laughs> oh, shit. That's nuts. Will you listen now? Yeah. We'll exactly like that. Tonight, she'll come. Bob, we want to thank you for protecting us. We need to prepare for battle. We and are. We're surrounding ourselves with white light. Again, Gabool. I don't know what that f***ing means, but I've heard it twice. Gabool. I'll have to look that up. What else do you want from us? Every wish you've ever had. All your dreams. Same woman. I don't like this. I don't like this that it's in the place where we live. Bob. Bob, you've really been helping us out. And I appreciate you. you can stay here if you want. But whoever is posing. I can't do more. As Sally. No more. Tonight, we draw the line. The hallway is a passage. That's f***ing creepy. That's creepy because there's a huge, huge mirror. Look through the mirror. No oh, f***ing There's way. a mirror in the passage no or the hall. No f***ing way. No f***ing way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I feel like it's getting to a point where this isn't safe. Why anymore. are you running away? 
I don't like this. That's cute. All right, well, I'm gonna pull Colorado. Dead in North Dakota. Oh, that's fucked. That's my grandma who just passed this summer. Don't, you can't say that anymore, Sally. I'm gonna pull Colin out now. I've got your family. After tonight. No, you don't. You have to leave. You can't mess with us anymore. We're done. Radizi. I literally will not leave. Well, we're gonna make you leave. Oh, I didn't like that. And then a fucking like a. <sighs> like that. Adam. We're getting Connor. 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 <laughs> Sally, you can't talk about my family, anybody's family. We're done. Okay? I don't like this. I'm pulling him out. I feel like if we keep going any longer... She will not stop. Oh, Dimension. bedtime. Oh my god, what the fuck, dude? God damn. I didn't want to read the over. shit out of me, man. Dude, this has been one of the craziest asses we've what ever done. What I... What happened? You were saying the hallway is a portal. Satanic. Nice. And I said, that's crazy because we have a huge mirror at the end of the hallway. And you said, look through the mirror. And you go, that's crazy because we have a mirror in the <laughs> hallway. <laughs> no way. <laughs> children then, around you. And it was like. Dude, satanic was, children around you. It was you? spot on. Every, every fucking question. Look at my Rem fucking. Dude, look at my. Can you see all those goosebumps actually? That is like mental. Dude, REM pod was going off. Like, no way. Intelligent. But it got to the point where I was like, I feel like if we keep going, it's just going to get worse and worse. And you go, she's not going to stop. F*** that. And I said, no, you're stopping tonight. F tonight we draw the line. No more of this. We got to do some cleansing tonight. Some deep cleansing. That's actually really creepy. And I heard Bob too. And Isn't I got Bob crazy? on here. What? Yeah. No way. Walls hold, hold secrets. secrets. What the f Cigarette. Cigarette. Like. Dude, Bob. It's not human too. Fuck that. And I was talking about. I'm telling you, one of the best S S sessions we've Just ever done. Just sitting here in our apartment. That's really And Bob scary. was like reassuring, hey, it's me. I'm trying to help you. She's not human. She's posing as a demon. You're like, what's your name? It's saying uncertain. And it's like, that's like the whole thing with like, with demons. The it's devil like, is here. What the fuck? And, but that's what I'm saying. The whole what thing the with demons fuck? is once like, you know their name. The yes. real name, you have the power over them. What What was the f Did you look up, what did I say, Gabool. Gabool? Did you look it up? No. What the f is Gabool? All I see is a fake character called Gabool the Wild. He's a f That's pretty f crazy. What the f is that thing? I'm telling you that you're Good gonna- evil here. Dude, what the absolute shit has been going on? I'm telling this you- This is almost crazier than the f***ing Sally house. I'm very creeped out, actually. Especially because this is my f***ing apartment, dude. I mean, how- It's very apparent to me now that, like, something 100% followed us from Sally. How do you possibly get satanic children around you? The walls hold secrets. Carpet. The devil is here. Carpet. Good and evil here. Darkness. Darkness. Like, well, what the absolute fuck, dude? But I think that, like, we have multiple spirits in this apartment already that are, like, friendly spirits, even though, like, their backstory might be, like, violent. But. The f man. Okay, well, I'm gonna put my intent down. Bob, thank you for helping us. Sally, whoever you are. You are not allowed to be in this space anymore. You are not allowed to follow me. 
Not allowed to follow my wife. Our animals. I'm searching. Not allowed to follow Connor. Anybody in my family. You have to leave tonight. I already did mine during the Estes. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I started saying some messed up stuff. And I'm like, no, no, no. Okay. Daughter again. Daughter. Do I feel magnetic on my arm? It's so dark in here. Turn a light on. Why are you so mean to the Your people daughter. in here? Daughter. Daughter again. Daughter. Yeah, start saying my grandpa's in hell. I remember hearing that. No, That's f fucked up, dude. And I heard North Dakota mm -hmm. something. And I was like, Nona, no. Me. Sally's f This? I'd be 100% fine never going back there again. <laughs> Yeah, so... I was there. I was hung. Dude. All oh, these goosebumps <laughs> that just went off. We need off. a cut and start cleansing. <laughs> she has her eye on you. No, not anymore. You're leaving tonight, Sally. Leave. We're gonna bring out some of our stuff, but you need to leave, okay? Go away. Bob's joining us. Uh, thank I, you. I literally said, Bob. Bob, you can stay. Yeah, Bob, thank you. Sally, leave. You have to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 come on. No, what? No, no f f what the f you have to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You have to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad things happened. That's what happened? happened? What the f, bro? What the f? She left. Yo, what the f, Connor? This thing has not gone off one fucking time this whole fucking night. One time. She left. Dude, and look at. This is the exit of our apartment. This is the fucking door. Dude, you know what's trippy too? What if it was like this, bro? What if it was like this? Into the mirror. Oh, Dad. <laughs> Yo. Start covering that mirror. Up Dude, I don't want to <laughs> fuck with that mirror anymore. God damn. I didn't use that thing to get ready. I need to go home, man. Yeah, that shit's <laughs> mad scary, actually. What no, the fuck? That's absolutely- Sally's gonna hop in my car on the way home and just call me over my place. Dude, that is wild, dude. What the hell? Can we just take one more second and just, just appreciate this. Look it, these are brand new batteries. We swapped this out before we started. You have to be, something has to be right here. And here, Connor, on an uninterrupted shot, come over here. This door, we can't open. This, is a closet. I'd like to see someone try to fit in there. This is a closet. Obviously, just for the haters out there. There's nobody fing in there. And here you go. Here's the front fing door. That is truly goddamn wild, dude. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Let's see what this said before we call it quits, I guess. Oh, look at. Why have you come? Witch. What if Sally was a witch? She was executed and hung. It's actually kind of creepy to think about. Anyways. Okay, guys. This has actually been like, we were only gonna investigate for like 30 minutes just to like see if we could get something. Every single thing has made such sense. It's been like an hour and a half now. And that, dude, it's way colder right here, by the yeah. way. Have you noticed that? Yeah. It's actually like, Frigid right here. I don't know, man. Final thoughts? F you, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> I stand my ground on that one. And she said way too much shit about our families. Yeah, that's true. 
whatever spirit it is at the Sally house, it's evil. It's beyond evil. We'll see if that works. Also, are you afraid of the dark? Yeah. I <laughs> Tonight I will be. be. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Anyways, we're gonna go f film the, the wrap up shot, I guess, for the interview. <laughs> and then, then go, to go to bed. I'm gonna go to bed right there. <laughs> <laughs> Pray for us. Yeah, okay. So, I think after watching that, you can confidently say that we have an attachment of some sort. Um, well, clearly, I, I guess I don't know if it's actually Sally itself. I mean, in the last month, we went to, I think, 12 different haunted locations. We went to Steve's Demon House, the Sally House, Nevada State Prison with the executions, Missouri State Penitentiary. So we could have grabbed the tag along from anywhere. But I mean, when you look at what we just captured and you look at as a whole, f this whole story, I think the only thing that it could be is Sally. And yeah, I know that for a fact, Connor and I, and my dad, he's up in South Dakota right now, but we're all gonna go to like a professional to get a cleansing done. And if you guys wanna like, if we should document that and show it to you guys, let me know in the comments, cause we can kind of document that process, but it's gotten to a little bit more of a point than I would like it to be at, where it's freaking me out. Like even just like, I mean, all of that is scary shit just happening in here, <laughs> which I see now. Thinking about tonight going to bed, I'm a little more freaked out. Jesus Christ. I mean, it's it's to a point now where, like, you can deal with so much, but now it's getting to the point where it's affecting our lives. Yeah, losing sleep, nightmares, creeped out in here randomly, like, feeling like somebody's in the other room. It's like a weird thing in your body. People are going to say, oh, it's bullshit, but it's very real when you feel like somebody's out in the other room. It's like... There's somebody there, but you know that there's not because the door's locked. Oh, that chills. Sally House is just one of those damn places that will always have my heart. I do love the place. It's so intriguing. It's so mysterious. And yeah, I think this is going to be our third and final time there, hopefully. But if you guys want to see us go back, let us know because there's always more mystery there. But from here in Houston, Texas, after the finale of that damn episode, Jesus Christ, I gotta turn this off and go to bed now because it's late at night. Great, but we love you guys so much. Thanks for sticking through with us on this very long video. Let me know once again what you thought about this video in the comments section. Make sure you like it if you haven't already. And we'll see you next week for our scariest, even scarier than the Sally House video. Be fucking ready for that. It is scarier than the Sally House and you're gonna see why next week, but we love you guys, and uh, stay spooky. Hello! <laughs>